his presence tonight to bless you, to transform you, to take you from where you are to where he has ordained for you in the year 2017. Give him praise, give him glory, give him adoration. Matala tata, bakute, balata, basenta labo, bakate, likopa, satalia, masontolia, rekata, bakuli katalege, ataga, taga, tala, masontolia. Let God hear your voice. Thank him. Say, This is my year. This is my year. 2017 is my year. Yes, thank you for bringing me to your presence on this very last day of the year 2016. Thank you for your hands of preservation over my life all through the year 2016. Thank you for all your good deeds in my life in the year 2016. I thank you. I thank you. Let them all hear your voice. La Posa, Balata, Bakanda, Balika, Balushi, Lekotuga, Azazakata, Balike, Kekekeke, La Tosca, Balukushi, Rakata, Lepolia, Rakata, Leposa. It's your crossover celebration night. You are crossing over. You are celebrating. Thank God because you are celebrating all through 2017. Thank God because you are crossing over. There's no carryover. Le Palado, Agaga, Alapa, Mataga, Belika, Palode, Rekete, Bakazu, Bakataka, Takata, Le Katalekapa, Masondoka, Lepolia, Rekata, Lekoshiga. Your word is coming in this service. Your word that will keep you, that will mark you out for exemption all through 20, the year 2017. It's coming your way. Thank God, because that word is coming tonight. The word of prophecy is coming your way tonight. The word of healing is coming your way tonight. Thank the Lord. Give him praise. Lato, lata, laka, basuze, entaga, bakudekete, liposata, Bakuzi Ata Belakajika. Thank you, Jesus, for the oil of exemption. For the oil of exemption. Thank you. Because tonight that oil is coming upon your life. That oil of exemption. Zesuka Akatolikapa Matutu Kata Bekali Pakusa Atata Bakutekete Akalukate Brapo Brapa Letaka andakate braposhkita zese akato kotopa bekapulia. Thank God for the oil of exemption, the oil of exemption that will keep you all through 2017. Letoto agila gala basuze lekotoko bratala menzata matutulia rekaka balush empa. Batuta, Leko Suzu, Intatalia, Repasa, Bakujekete, Linta Lagadala, Breko Tozozo, Atetala, Mazika, Rika Palu. God, we give you glory for the eye of exemption, for the prophetic war. Thank you for that prophetic war that will come specifically to you in this service. That prophetic war. Thank him. Tonight, le posh katia, se zolia katalagada, lemba baba soto koliaga. Father, we give you all the glory. We thank you. Give him praise. Magnify him. Tonight is your night. It's your celebration night. No sorrows. In Jesus' name we pray. We shall know you have a testimony. The pastors are waiting for you at the unknown entrance. Please rush to the unknown entrance to document your testimonies as we invite the choir. Put those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody that is happy to see the last day of this year. And very shortly, going to the first day of New Year. Give him a shout! Woo! Hallelujah! We give you praise. Lift up your hands and let's magnify his name. Lift up your hands and let's give him glory. Hallelujah!
We bless your name. We give you glory. No one else like you. We have come to say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Glorious God. Beautiful King. Excellent God. I bow before you. Glorious God. Glorious God.
together for Jesus cross over 2016 to 2017 you are grateful to God to be alive and well put those wonderful hands together for Jesus and please you may be seated praise God shortly we shall be rising up to give quality thanks unto God for the cross overnight celebration service of today we shall be rising up shortly saying, Father, thank you for causing the year 2016 to answer to its name in the life of every winner and in this commission as a whole. Can I hear a loud amen? amen? Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Has God been good to you this year, 2016? Do I have a witness in the house? Jump up on your feet. Lift up your voice like that one leper. Like that one leper. Lift up your voice and begin to thank God. Father, Thank you for causing the year 2016 to answer to his name in the life of every winner and in this commission as a whole. Lift up your voice. Let God hear you right now all across the globe. Give him thanks loudly. Give God thanks loudly. 
Magnify his name. Let God hear your voice of thanksgiving. Let God hear your voice of thanksgiving. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for causing the year 2016 to answer to his name in the life of every winner and in this commission globally. Father, we thank you. Father, we have come. Father, we have returned with thanksgiving. Father, we have returned with thanksgiving. Father, we have returned with thanksgiving. Oh, Rabo Katoya. Father, we have returned with thanksgiving. Oh, Lord, we have returned with thanksgiving. Father, we have returned with thanksgiving. Are you thanking the Lord at home? Don't keep quiet. Thank God profusely. Thank God with a loud voice. Give him praise. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for causing the year 2016 to answer to its name in the life of every winner and in this commission globally. Father, we thank you. Begin to thank God now in the Holy Ghost. Begin to thank God now in the Holy Ghost. Let God hear your voice. Don't keep quiet like that one leper with a loud voice, Rebecca Taya. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for letting the year 2016 answer to his name in the life of every winner globally and in the life of this commission. Oh God, we have returned tonight to give you thanks. We have returned to give you thanks, Reba Are you still thanking the Lord? Is God hearing your voice? Don't keep quiet. Do it loudly. Do it loudly with a loud voice from the depth of your heart. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, we thank you. Reba Kota, Araba Baloga Soria, Alaga Garaba, Reba Kosatia, Lagada. Intensely, intensely. Two seconds left with a loud voice, with a loud voice, with a loud voice. Give God thanks. Give Him thanks. Give Him praise. Father, we give you praise and glory. Thank you for accepting our thanksgiving. For in Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks. Shout it louder. Amen. Amen. Put those wonderful hands together for Jesus and please you may be seated. My case is different, and let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Shortly we shall yet rise on our feet again to give God thanks, and we shall be saying, Father, thank you for the continued manifestation of your presence in our midst as the God of wonder double, evidenced by supernatural growth and enlargement in our churches worldwide. Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, Chapter 30, verse 19 says, Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry, and I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Rise with me on your feet with a loud voice, begin to give him thanks, saying, Father, thank you for the continued manifestation of your presence in our midst as the of wonder double, evidenced by supernatural growth and enlargement in our churches worldwide. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the continued manifestation of your presence in our midst as a God of wonder double. You have shown yourself as a God of wonder double. Evidenced by supernatural growth, growth that can only be traceable to your hand, and enlargement in all our churches worldwide. Father, we have returned to give you all the glory. We have returned to say thank you. Father, we thank you. Are you thanking him tonight? Let God hear your voice of appreciation. Let God hear your voice of thanksgiving tonight. He has shown himself as a God of wonder double through supernatural growth and all-round 
his doors on every side. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you praise because you say, and I will multiply them, and they shall not be few all over the world. Give him thanks because he has been true to his word. He has indeed multiplied us in all our churches, all over the world. We thank you for supernatural multiplication, supernatural growth, supernatural enlargement in all our churches worldwide. Our God, the God of wonder double, we thank you. We thank you for the continued manifestation of your presence in our midst as a God of wonder double that is evidenced by supernatural growth and enlargement in all our churches worldwide, all over the continent of the earth. You have shown yourself faithful as a God of wonder double because you have given us supernatural growth. We have recorded supernatural growth, exponential growth, and enlargement that is traceable only to your hand. So you be all the glory. So you be all the glory. We thank you, Lord. Are you still giving him thanks? Give him thanks. Give him thanks for all round increases, enlargement, supernatural growth. Oh, Pastor Qatar, Elisa, Recopa, my sister say, Elisa, my loser guitar, and Capo season. Father, we thank you for the continued manifestation of your presence in our midst. Oh, Lord, we thank you for manifesting yourself continually in the winner's family worldwide as a God of wonder double through supernatural growth and enlargement in all our churches worldwide. We say thank you. We say thank you. You have multiplied us. You have glorified us according to your word. We thank you. You have multiplied us and we are not few. Globally, you have increased us on every side. Phenomenal increases, exponential increases all across the nations of the world. We have this family, it's represented. We have this church, it's represented. You have shown yourself as a God of wonder double. Give him thanks, give him thanks. Appreciating, appreciating. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry, I will multiply them. Father, we thank you. We thank you. You have indeed multiplied us. You have indeed glorified us. We are not few. We thank you, Lord. Masekosa, Ekoshada, Malezekete. Lift your voice. Thank him down some more. Thank him some more. You can do that in the spirit. You can do that in the spirit. Malizasa, Ekopaya. Malezekete, Elusha, Malezuta, Enkaposa, Ekalaba, Malizekete. He that gives thanks in the spirit, he does it well. Give him thanks in the spirit. Malezuza, Eko, Paya, Malezekete, Eradada, Masiza, 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 Eko Golada, Masuto Tata, Malekurada, Masekotakata. Enko Sada, Malesusa, Ekapo, Mala, Marada, Masekota. Thank you, Father, for continued manifestation of your presence in our midst as a God of wonder. Take the praise, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Put those hands together for Jesus and please get seated. My case is different. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We'll be rising up again to give quality thanks to the Lord tonight, saying, Father, thank you for the quantum leap testimonies granted to every engaging winner all through the year 2016. In Psalms 118 and verse 23, the word says, This is the Lord's doing. 
and it is marvelous in our eyes. Rise up on your feet as we give quality thanks to the Lord tonight saying, Father, thank you for the quantum leap testimonies granted every winner, every engaging winner all through the year 2016. There are many testifiers here of various quantum leaps, quantum leaps spiritually, quantum leaps financially, quantum leaps in families, quantum leaps in businesses and careers. Rest your voice and let's thank the Lord again tonight saying Father thank you for the quantum leap testimonies granted to every engaging winner all through the year 2016 he spoke it with his mouth by his hand he has performed it let's give him quality thanks let's give him thanks with understanding let's give him thanks profusely if you are indeed a beneficiary of quantum leap testimonies let Let's give God thanks. Father, thank you for quantum leap testimonies granted to every engaging winner all through the year 2016. Indeed, God has proved that he's not a God that should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. As he said it, will he not also do it? He has performed quantum leap testimonies to every engaging winner. He spoke it by the mouth of his servant and with his own hand he has performed it. Let's give him quality thanks. Let's give him thanks from the depth of our hearts. Father, we thank you. Oh yes, it is not us that began the year that are here at this cross overnight. We are beneficiaries of various quantum leap testimonies. Therefore, we give you thanks. Make sure the Lord is hearing your voice of thanksgiving tonight. Make sure he's hearing your voice of thanksgiving tonight. Raise your voice to the heavens let God hear you if you are really grateful like that one leper you have returned tonight to give him quality thanks lift your voice lift your hands and thank him father we thank you for quantum leap testimonies granted to every engaging winner all through the year 2016 oh our father we give you thanks it's not to him that will it not to him that run it, but to God that showed mercy. Lord, we are beneficiaries of quantum leap testimonies in every department, in every area, in every facet of our lives. Therefore, we have returned tonight as a family all across the globe to thank you for quantum leap testimonies. Indeed, it is your doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Raise your voices to the heavens all across Across the globe, let God hear your voice of appreciation tonight. Father, we thank you from the depth of our hearts. It's a bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Let it come from within. Father, we thank you. He said, Bless the Lord with me. Let us rejoice in him together. He has done it, he has done it, he has done it. He he has done it and so we are grateful lift your voice let heaven hear your voice of appreciation tonight saying father thank you for quantum leap testimonies thank him profusely thank him from the depth of your heart you prayed from the depth of your heart and he did it therefore let's return with all of our hearts with every part of our being thanking him for quantum leap testimonies that he gave to you that he gave to me all through the year 2016 because we engaged as we were commanded give God thanks 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 if you can do it in the spirit you will do it better thank him in the Holy Ghost Oh yes, Father, we thank you. Arade tosi embrade kutari adosha yadose ekula yabarade kota Jesus kelege embrade tosi rande kutara dia yabarake tota de erus kata. You said minimum for quantum leaps. You gave many of us far above that. Father, we thank you. Arade tosi embrakata 
You are not a God that you should lie. Yabra de kutaze, Jesus kele, yambra ketoria, yatose. Thank you, the Holy Ghost. Arade gorade Jesus here, Jesus kala brandi edoshia. Yarada, 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 yarada. E brade kutaga Jesus here, Jesus kele brandi Gradetos here, Alabradia, Oretos here, Yabradia, like that one leper. We have returned with a loud voice. You have made our case different all through the year 2016. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Abradetos, Yacarada, Jesus Celebra, Diodosia, Yabrade Cotara, Retesia, Randosa. Ye brade, ye kuta, ye suze, ato gala garade, ye suzea, e pura dada, e tus garade, ye brande, wave your hand in appreciation. Give him thanks. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands together for the Lord as you take your seat. My case is different. The redeemer of the Lord says so. I said, My case is different, and let the redeemed of the Lord say so. This night, I like to welcome every one member of this family and everyone gathered in all the various locations around the world to this crossover celebration service. And I do this on behalf of Jesus Christ, the head of the church, and on behalf of his servant, the apostle over this commission. Indeed, you are crossing over to take over. The year 2017, according to every prophetic declaration, will answer for you in the name of Jesus. By way of welcome this night, I'd like us to begin to explore a few very vital truths as we prepare ourselves for what God has in store for us tonight. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. The Bible says, To everything there is a season, and there is a time to every purpose under heaven. We are meant to see clearly from that scripture that seasons are tied to things and times are tied to purposes. Every time time changes, a new purpose is unveiled. When the clock goes to 12 a.m. and we enter 2017, God is saying there is a new purpose that is being offered. As there is a change in time, there is a change in purpose. And the Bible tells us about certain individuals in the scriptures, they are called the sons of Issachar, and the Bible said that they had understanding of the times, knowing what Israel ought to do, and their brethren were at their command. Every time you are, you have a revelation of the times, you are never found in subjection, but rather in dominion. And that means that as God begins to unveil his purposes, unveil his, his, his agendas, a year ahead, I see you taking dominion in the new year in the name of Jesus. And that is why when times are changing, the most critical thing to locate is to locate his word. The Bible said in the book of Luke chapter 10 and verse 42, it said, matter had been running around, but this is what Jesus said. One thing is needful. You are running around many other things, but one thing is needful. And Mary has chosen that good path and it shall not be taken away from her. Every time there is a change in the times, a change in the seasons, the most critical demand for the life of any individual is to locate his word. 
And the question really is, why do I need to locate his word? What makes his word so critical in changing times? What makes his word even more important in changing seasons? We'll look at just two very important reasons tonight as we get set for what God has in store for us. Number one, we recognize that it is God's word that de determines the world in which we live. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3, it says, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen are not made of things which do appear. We have been understand that the world globally is entering into holocaust in all kinds of dimensions and we can see it practically economic holocaust all kinds of things but you need to live in the same world they are living in if you look at that scripture i said the worlds were framed not the world so every individual is living in the is determined by his word today as God's word will be coming your way in this crossover service your own world of prosperity your own world of peace your own world of advancement your own world of testimonies your own world of breakthroughs will become a reality in the new year in the name of Jesus remember the Bible makes it clear that others are saying there is a casting down you shall in the lifting up I see that becoming your testimony in the name of Jesus. I said, I see that becoming your testimony in the name of Jesus. So your word is determined by his word. The word you receive determines the world in which you live. Jesus says something to his disciples in the book of John chapter 16 and verse 33. He said to them very clearly, he said, these things I have spoken unto you, these words I have given unto you, that in me you may have peace. In the world that others are living in, there is tribulation. Be of good cheer. By the word you have received, you are in another world altogether. I have overcome the world. By the words that will be coming in your direction this night, and as we cross over into the new year, I see a new world being created around you in the name of Jesus. But number two, we discover that the word you receive also determines the rewards you receive. In the book of Proverbs chapter 24, verse 13 and verse 14, it said, My son, eat thou honey, because it is good, and the honeycomb which is sweet to thy taste. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. And when thou hast found it, there shall be a reward, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. I believe that many of us have come here tonight with expectations in our heart. God says, as his word is coming, your reward for that expectation shall be naturally delivered. Somebody believe it, say a loud amen. I said somebody believe it, say a loud amen. Therefore, what God is telling us is very clear. That his word is the principal custodian of our world and our rewards. And that is why as we begin to enter into these closing chapters of this year and the opening chapters of next year, the word of God that will put you in command shall be coming your way in the name of the Lord Jesus. I said the word of God shall be coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, to position yourself to receive God's word, there are several factors that are critical, but I will highlight two very important ones. In Jeremiah chapter 18 and verse 1, the Lord speaking to Jeremiah, the prophet said, the word of God came to Jeremiah and said unto him, Arise, go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. You have come today to the potter's house. Whether you are here in Canaan land, in any one of the viewing centers around the world, you have heeded the call of God to appear in the potter's house. God says, when you are where I called you to be, I assure you to receive what I called you to receive. Therefore, I'd like to congratulate you because you have arrived at the place where your word is coming. Somebody believe it, say a loud amen. I said you have arrived at the place where your own word is coming. Somebody believe it, say the loudest amen. 
wherever you may be, you have heeded the call of God. You have appeared in his presence. There are many all over the world in gathered in different places, gathered around computer screens, gathered around various locations of the world. But today you have heeded the call of Jehovah. He said, you have come to the potter's house. Therefore, I will cause you to hear my words. The word that will put you in dominion, you shall hear it this time in the name of Jesus. But number two is very important. When you appear where his word is being unveiled, you must take off whatever may be covering your face. There are different devices of the enemy to cover your face. They come in different forms. Distractions, wrong observations, negative perceptions. They come in different forms. But the Bible says we all with open face we behold him as in a glass and we are changed from glory to glory. So it is the opening of our face by refusing every veil, the veil of distraction, wrong observations, negative perceptions, put them away this morning, this night and watch it as God begins to unveil himself. I see you entering into supernatural realms of dominion in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be seen concerning you that indeed your case is different. Somebody believe it, say a loud man. Lift up your right hand to heaven and say, Lord, I am ready for you tonight. Like you mean it, Lord, I am ready for you tonight. And indeed, he also is ready for you tonight. I congratulate you. You are coming into a brand new world today in Jesus' precious name. Give Jesus a big hand is worthy of all the praise. Hallelujah. To take us further in this crossover celebration night, give Jesus a big, big hand as we receive the ministry of the Faith Tabernacle Choir. Let that hand be bigger for Jesus.
shall we all lift up our two hands to heaven tonight? Once again, bless the name of the Lord for saying the end of the year 2016. If you have seen his goodness and his mercy, acknowledge that now in thanksgiving. If God has been favorable to you, return the glory and praise to him. If it has been your year, indeed and in truth celebrate him. Give him glory and praise. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. We serve a covenant keeping God. Every true revelation is a discovery of your path of the deal in anything of interest to you. I must not beg. I hate to beg. Now, find out what to do not to end up a beggar. I must not fail. Find out what you must do to become a success. The Bible is a book of covenant. God the covenantor and we are the covenantees. And he <laughs> offers the deal and calling on anyone that's interested to buy into it. He does not want any man to perish but all to come to repentance, but what must I do to be saved? He became poor that with through his words might be made rich. What must I do to assess that riches or the riches that's offered me? We serve a covenant keeping God. And I want to tell you something. The year 2017 is a year of unending testimonies. And all we need to do is to locate what it is that will make a difference in our life in the year 2017. Lift up your two hands. Ask the Lord, open my eyes to behold wondrous things out of thy law. Ask him to open your eyes to behold wondrous things out of his law this hour. tonight Jesus to behold wondrous things out of thy law
Jesus precious name we have prayed and so shall it be you are living here tonight or in the morning tomorrow with the master key of life in your hand that key will convert all your struggles to miracles It will empower you for triumph in all places. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you again for all that you have set to pass down to us tonight. We give you all the glory in Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen. My case is different. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Tonight, I'll be sharing with us, commanding on the subject titled, commanding noiseless breakthroughs in hard times. How to stay on top of situations and circumstances. How to keep scaling new heights in spite of hard times. And I'd like you to listen very carefully because it will change everything about you. We must recognize that the covenant is superior to all prevailing economic circumstances. The covenant is superior to all economic challenges. No economic crisis can make the covenant of abundance of no effect. Prove me now, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing until there shall be no room enough to contain it. For the earth will be born like an oven, but your obedience will make the difference. Your obedience and my obedience will make the difference. Covenant people all through scriptures usually flourish in hard times. Covenant people all through scriptures usually flourish in hard times. And they said, I am the Lord, I change not. Covenant people usually flourish in hard times. Genesis 47 verse 15, money failed in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan money failed in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan. Money failed in the land of Egypt and in the promised land. Praise God. And it went so bad that people began to offer themselves for sale. Buy us. Verse 19. Wherefore shall we die before thy eyes? Both we and our land. Buy us and our land for bread. Now verse 27. Then we saw a people with a difference. And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen, and they had possessions therein and grew and multiplied exceedingly. Covenant people usually flourish in hard times. So these hard times are your days of opportunities. Covenant people usually flourish in hard times. So the hard times ahead of the world is your hour of opportunity. Because no circumstances on the earth can render the covenant of no effect. Jeremiah 33 and verse 21. 
verse 20 and 21. Jeremiah 33 and verse 20 and 21. Thus said the Lord, if you can break my covenant of the day and my covenant of the night, and that there should not be day and night in their season. And then my, may also my covenant be broken with David my servant, that he should not have his son to reign upon his throne, and with the Levites, the priests, my ministers. That's how powerful the covenant is. Until you can alter the ordinance of the day and the night, no force in hell and no force from hell can alter the validity of the covenant. That's why covenant practicing people usually flourish in hard times. And verse 25 and 26, verbatim, Thus said the Lord, if my covenant be not with day and night, if I have not set and appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth, then will I cast away the seed of Jacob and David my servant. That is how binding the covenant is on God. So when my part of the covenant is in place, God's integrity is committed to deliver. You are going to see wonders in 2017. We are going to see wonders in 2017. You and your family will experience wonders in 2017. The Bible recognizes obedience as the master key to a world of noiseless breakthroughs. Say with me, obedience is the master key to a world of noiseless breakthroughs. Let me trace a few things in scriptures here for us to appreciate this truth. If thou shalt diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do or simply to obey all his commandments which I commanded this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations. I mean, <laughs> nothing is added to that. If you will just obey all that I command you, you have committed me to set you on high above all nations of the earth. Noiseless breakthroughs. You don't need to make noise to make news. Just make covenant moves and you keep making news. Just make covenant moves and you keep making news. Say with me, I don't have to make noise to make news. All I need is to make covenant moves. And I will begin to make news without stress. Second scripture. Whatever it tells you to do, do it. And they had no wine. They were granted. They were stranded. They were frustrated. They were devastated. When they say, okay, pour water into the water pots. Fill up the water pots with water. And there was nothing added to obedience to deliver their desire to around. Nothing was added to it. Remember, obedience is better than sacrifice. I'm talking about the fact of rams. And there they were with sweeter wine than the one they bought with their money. Simple obedience, sweatless triumph. Simple obedience, sweatless triumph. We saw a man that was born blind in John chapter 9, verse 1 to 8, and Jesus. <laughs> got him blinder by pasting mud on his eyes and said, go to the pool called Siloam and wash. 
And he went and washed and came saying. Obedience all through scriptures has proved to be the master key to a world of sweatless triumph. Sweatless, noiseless breakthroughs. Noiseless breakthroughs. Watch it. As you maintain your covenant walk with God, it shall be said of you in the year ahead, which was a few minutes ago, what manner of man is this? What manner of man is this? In John 21, numbers 5 and 6, children of ye and mate, and they answered him, no. He said, now, cast the net on the right side of the ship, and you shall find. And they cast their fall, and now they were not able to draw it for the mouth of fishes. Noiseless breakthroughs, answer to raw obedience. Noiseless breakthroughs will always answer to our raw obedience of faith. No revelation will answer for disobedience. If you are too smart to obey God, you are too dull for a change of story. The greatest names in this kingdom forever are men and women who are sold out to obeying God at any cost. At any cost. This is so important. And I pray that as we step into the year 2017, your life of obedience will be supernaturally enhanced. Yeah. There was this great man by name Naaman who was a leper. And the prophet said, get down to Jordan and dip yourself seven times and then uh, recover yourself. 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1 to 3. He grumbled. Someone helped him. He went down there, verse 8 to 15, dipped himself in water. And after the seventh time, his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child. And it was clean. Raw obedience of faith remains the master key to a world of noiseless breakthroughs. Noiseless. You don't need to make noise to make news. Just make covenant moves and you keep making news. Isaiah 42 verse 1 and 2. This is a prophecy about Christ. He said, Behold my servant whom I uphold my elect and whom my soul delighted have put my spirit in him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry nor lift up nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. Don't need no noise. His empty body that made the greatest noise. Just continue to make covenant move steadfastly, tirelessly, excitedly. Keep making covenant moves. Keep responding to his instructions. My son, take fast hold of instructions. Keep her. Let her not go because she is thy life. The quality of your life and my life is a function of the quality of our obedience. Those instructions. 
This is so important. For instance, now let me tell you this. There is no remedy, there is no alternative. Financial fortune remains eternally impossible without tithing. If you see God, uh, tell him what I said. He told me. When next you meet him, tell him. Now, now, 120 days of fasting won't change that. You don't prove him with fasting. You prove him with tithing. No, no, you see, because if you apply eye drop into your ears, it may destroy your ear drop. There are different treatments for different issues. He told me that. Until your part is played, I am not committed. God told me wrong. He told me where there was nothing to back it up. Where there was nothing to back it up. So I was, he wasn't harassing me. I had no bank account when he told me. My prosperity plan is not a promise. So it does not answer to prayers. My prosperity plan is not a promise. It has no respect for fasting. My prosperity plan is a covenant. And until your part is played, I am not committed. God told me, March 22, 1982, you can't miss an encounter with God. You can't guess the time. Amen. This is so important. It's not about obedience, it's about total obedience, full obedience. You remember the story of Saul? I have obeyed the commandment of the Lord. Shut up. What is the bleating of the sheep that I hear? He said, we brought it to sacrifice to the Lord. Shut up. I said, destroy everything. So grace for full obedience. Receive it this hour in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Noiseless breakthroughs we always answer to our raw obedience of faith. Noiseless breakthroughs. Noiseless breakthroughs. Noiseless breakthroughs. Somebody asks, how do you get things done so cheaply? We do nothing except it's commanded. That was my response. It was an impromptu question, impromptu answer. We do nothing except it is commanded. I pray that 2017 we end your struggles. Amen. I pray that the year 2017, which is a few minutes to go, will mark the end of your struggles in life. According to scriptures, obedience of faith is a mighty weapon of war with capacity to pull down all the strongholds of the enemy. 2 Corinthians 10, 3 to 5. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but mighty through God to bring out of strongholds. I'm bringing down, I mean, uh, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exhausts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing to captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ and having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Now, can I tell you this? No matter how many witches are after your life, if you repent and accept Jesus, you'll be saved before their eyes. They'll be watching you like this where you'll get saved. And then they can't reach you anymore. 
all you need is get to the point of obedience on whatever you desire of the Lord. Get to the point of obedience on what you must do. What you must do. What you must do. Obedience will silence all oppositions. Because it commits God's integrity absolutely. Your obedience and my obedience will silence all oppositions against our lives because it has capacity to invoke divine intervention. This is why you can relax because tomorrow is bright. Hallelujah. I've told you before, I'm more confident of tomorrow than I am of today. Because the God of today is waiting there tomorrow. Yes, sir. And it's a covenant keeping God. The struggles of your life are declared over tonight. I mean, if obedience can set a man above all the nations of the earth, then what are you looking for? That's where the key is. That's where the key is. We also discover that obedience is the master key to a world of the supernatural. Make for me a frost. First Kings 17, 8 to 15. Elijah said to the widow of Zarepa, and we saw what happened. Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make therefore a little cake first and bring it to me and after make for thee and thy son from where? Supernatural supplies. And she obeyed and went and did according to the saying of, the, of Elijah and she and he and her house did it many days. Many days means until the famine was over. Obedience is gateway to operating in the realm of the supernatural. Just obey God and then you have committed his hand on your life. Tonight, let's understand that nothing pays like obedience in hard times. This is where many believers miss it. When they are challenged, they withdraw so as to multiply their challenges. When they are challenged, their spirit man begins to cow out. When they are challenged, they begin to disconnect from the source of their help. But obedience pays the most in hard times. God last meal to eat, and here comes one bearded prophet and wanted to eat it first. In hard times, Second Corinthians 8 and 1 to 7. He said, moreover, brethren, we do you to wit the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. I mean, they exemplify the grace of God in their lives. How that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the liberality, or the riches of their liberality. I mean, they were extremely liberal in spite of their poverty. Now, he said, for to their power, I bear the call. And beyond their power, they were willing of themselves. Willing. So as you are born in all this, see that you are born in this grace also, verse 7. And we saw how that grace exploded. Hmm? Yes, in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. All things, having all sufficiency in all things. From their realm of hardship, they began to scale heights. This is the time to be closest to God. Well, that is the only security in these times. The 
this time to get married to your Bible and get excited at fulfilling your part of the deal on anything of interest to you. Nothing pays like obedience in hard times. Peter had just gone through all night fishing and caught nothing. Not even tadpoles. Caught nothing. Caught nothing. And Jesus said, push your boat a little into the sea. Why? How much are you paying me? No. Obedience pays the most in hard times. And after it was done, he had the greatest catch of his life. Not only that, his destiny took a new shape. Obedience pays the most in hard times. Obedience is the way out of your hardship. Obedience is the way out of your hardship. Obedience is the way out of my hardship. So no excuse will ever be tenable for disobedience. No excuse will ever be tenable for disobedience. Disobedience got us into trouble, only obedience can get us out of it. And like I mentioned, obedience is either fool or it is disobedience. 1 Samuel 15, 18 to 21. He said, and the Lord sent thee on a journey and said, go and utterly destroy the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them until they are consumed. Wherefore then didst thou not obey the voice of the Lord, but this fly upon the spoil, and this even the sight of the Lord. And then he said, yes, sir. And Saul said unto Samuel, Yea, I have obeyed the voice of the Lord, and I have gone the way which the Lord has sent me, and I have brought Agar, the king of Malek, and have utterly destroyed the Amalekites. One exemption. But the people took the spoil. Ah, uh, what was it the people I told of you? The sheep and oxen and the chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God in Giga. And Samuel said, has the Lord pleasure or great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. No excuse will ever be tenable for disobedience. Something is breaking loose in your life right now. Simple, raw obedience of faith will change anybody's story. Simple obedience of faith will change anyone's story. Remember, every commandment of scriptures is for all times and remains applicable all through the lifetime of the redeemed. Every commandment of scripture is applicable for all times and throughout the lifetime of every child of God. This is where the key is. Remember, his word is settled in heaven forever. Psalm 119, verse 89. And heaven and earth may pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Matthew 24, and verse 35. Let's round up this way. Let's look at a few examples here. Seeking first the kingdom of God puts you on top of all the issues of life. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. It's as current as the day it was first spoken. 
Many of you are living testimonies of the validity of that mystery today and remains applicable forever. As long as you are in service in an organization, you are entitled to your wages and all allowances that accrue. So seeking first the kingdom of God will always pay in all generations. We always pay because it launches into the realm of noiseless breakthroughs, things happening on their own accord. Number two example, bring ye all the tents of the storehouse, is there forever as the only covenant gateway to the realm of financial fortune. Things that have come to destroy the law, Jesus said in Matthew 5, 17, have not to come to destroy but to fulfill them. But to fulfill them. Think not that I'm come to destroy the law or the prophets. I'm not come to destroy but to fulfill. So the Old Testament will remain forever relevant to every one of us in the kingdom. That's why when you quote from Psalm, God responds. You quote from Isaiah, he responds. You take your healing from Amos. <laughs> you take your victory from Mosia. What do you say is Old Testament? <laughs> no, no, no. No child of God can outsmart God. You better understand that. He knows your thoughts are far off. He knows. Jesus said concerning Titan, this ought he to have done and not to leave the other undone. Matthew 23, 23. This ought, he said, warned to you, scribes and Pharisees, for ye pay tithe of mind and anis and coming and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. Judgment and mercy. He said, this ought ye to have done and not to leave the other undone. Think of Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 8. Here men that die receive tithe, but there he received them of whom it is written that he liveth. And you look up from verse 1 to 8, that is Jesus. Titan remains the mystery behind access to realms of financial fortune. And I'm crying this out because I, I believe that your struggles must end finally this time. Amen. Let me say it again. God does not need it. Sir, the church does not need it. But you need it. I need it. Can I tell you what has empowered my work with God? God does not need me for anything. But I need him for everything. God does not need me. I come to fellowship, it's for my benefit. My coming doesn't benefit God and doesn't reduce from him. My not coming doesn't change it. That's what empowers my work with God. There is nothing he has asked me to do that is to his benefit. There is no, he said, I, and I suffer an intercessor and I found none. So my own hand brought me salvation. Mm, yes, I don't need you to pray. You can go and sleep if you want. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. If I'm depending on your prayer, I will fail as God. He said, <laughs> glory to God. There are many people in this church today that came on their own. How many will say amen to them? That nobody witness to you come. You just find yourself going, 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 and then you arrive there. And they say, you want to be saved? Yes. Nobody follow you up. Do I have a witness here? <laughs> so there's nobody saying, you know, witness, witness. Don't witness. No. Everything we are commanded to do is not primarily, but absolutely for our benefit. Can I hear your amen? amen. You are walking to your realm of liberty. Amen. This is so important. You see, revelation is the cure for frustration. Mm. What do I call it? Revelation. revelation. It's the cure for all frustrations. Amen. Somebody was sharing with me, he's a, he's a minister of the gospel, and when he asked me questions, I saw the price or the cost of ignorance. Mm. The cost, sir, the cost. The 
cost of ignorance is unfathomable. The cost is unfathomable. The questions he asked me, I will not ask these questions in 1970. I won't. I won't. Please wake up. With this free light, free access to light, to be overrun by darkness is a shame. Something's breaking forth in your life. <laughs> obedience, obedience is the key to a world of noiseless breakthroughs. Obedience, obedience is the key. Somebody's changing level. <laughs> Every child of God, for instance, is ordained a soul winner. It is not a gift. It is not a calling. It is your redemptive responsibility. You have not chosen me. I've chosen you. I should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should abide. And what happens? And whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. You come on favor channel with God. Amen. As you are faithful in doing that, I will take sickness away from your body. It's benefited. As you keep getting more into the kingdom, I will make a star of you. Come on. So you can't sit down somewhere and not get involved, not get interested, and you want a change of story. No. No. He's not a respecter of persons. He's not a respecter of persons. You can't go, but can't you pray? People in the hospital are praying for souls to be saved who are on admission. Then you are so free that all you are doing is watching television. You want a change of story? No. No. Somebody's story is changing. Yeah. That looks like you. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Every provision in redemption has conditions to be met before they can be assessed. And in the year 2017, you won't miss anything that belongs to you. Yeah. with God and you become an amazement to your world, it's a matter of time. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, that's the heart of any man. What God has in store for them that love him. And that's you God is talking about. Say to me, my story is changing. My story is changing. I've discovered the key. I have discovered the key. I've discovered the key. As long as you stay in love with God, all things will continue to work together for your good. Romans 8.28. There are many in this church, across the nations of the earth, that are operating in that realm. As you stay in love with God, you'll be more than a conqueror in every battle. Romans 8.35 to 38. More than, that means you are not fighting, yet you are winning. Noiseless triumph. That's your portion. And what more? As you stay in love with God, you'll never see failures again. Because love never fails. These are all simple, simple. Am I truly in love with God? If I am, do I love His word to prove it? Every true lover loves God's word. Every true lover loves what God loves. And God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. You love God, obey Him becomes a delight. This is the love of God that we obey His commandments and His commandments are not grievous. First John 5, 3. Very simple things. Do I love Him with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my strength? Then I must expect all things to keep working together for my good. I must expect to be more than a conqueror in every battle of life. I must expect to live about failure in all its forms. These are simple, simple instructions, sir. 360 days of fasting won't be a substitute. To obey is better than sacrifice and to act under the fat of rams. Let me show you in two minutes how obedience changes people's levels without sweat.
when God commanded our ministry to move from Kwara to Kaduna, Kwara was about six times. No, what is six times? I can't remember many times because we're already counting 250. And now we're going back to six and four people, to 20 people. But obedience changed it. In no time, Kaduna began to service all the other operations. Oh yes, we got said to the Kaduna, we're having a nice time. Arise, get down to Lagos. What? Go start again. That's the commandment. And I came here, never looked back once. Never looked back once. See where we are today. And then Lagos exploded. And then get down to the forest. So you can, get, you can go and die. <laughs> but obedience changed the story again. Hallelujah. Now obedience may be costly. The end result is priceless. Please enjoy a walk of obedience with God. Every act of obedience opens a new chapter. Every act of obedience opens a new chapter. Every act of obedience opens a new chapter. Every act of obedience opens a new chapter to a believer. From this hour, you'll never be at the same spot again in your life. Let me tell you this. I have shared till date, in nearly six years, the truth of God has revealed to me. I have not attempted to impress anybody in the audience in my life. I've never preached at any individual in my life. I declare what the Lord said to me. But listen to me. Everyone that chooses a life of obedience tonight, huh? every day of 2017 shall be Christmas for you. You know what Jesus said? He that sent me is with me. My father has not left me alone because I do always the things that please him. And in his presence is fullness of joy. And on his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. No more pleasures for you. When you do what pleases him, you enjoy his presence that guarantees pleasures forevermore. Noiseless breakthroughs. Amen. Supernatural encounters. That's what happens in his presence. Quickly tonight, some fellows need to escape before we enter 2017. You know that you are not born again yet. Let me pray with you in one minute. We are almost running out of time. Wherever you are, around the world tonight, you are here. I, I must tell you this, salvation is your only guaranteed escape from this oncoming holocaust. If you are not saved, it's a risk. Salvation is your security at this time. Amen. Because every other platform has become helpless. Only this platform has helps to offer you. Wherever you are tonight, please stand quickly. You want to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior tonight? Get up on your feet. This is your night of change. Get up on your feet. Quickly, get up on your feet. God bless you. Get up on your feet. Everybody that wants to accept Christ as Lord and Savior tonight, wherever you are, get up on your feet across the nations of the earth. You are before your computer screen. Get up on your feet right now and pray this prayer of faith with me in one second. Now, everybody who is standing up, can you make your way to the front in other churches right here in Faith Tabernacle? Just move to the nearest area to where you are in one minute as I pray with you. We're about entering the year 2017. You are entering as a brand new creature. All things have passed away. All things have become new. You are not making resolution. You are just appropriating the salvation that Christ offers. Wherever you are, stand to your feet. All the things you hate to see in your life, you see them no more again forever. All the deadly habits tormenting your life, you see them no more again forever. Wherever you are, please stand. Stand here in Canaan land, all of you that are outside, please make sure you move to the nearest aisle to where you are. The church officials are there. And I'll be praying with you right now in one minute. 
Please stop feeling that form. Bow your heads all around the world today. Lift up your right hand to heaven and pray this prayer of faith after me. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Say it loud, Lord Jesus. Rest, lift up your right hand with your heads bowed. Say with me, Lord Jesus. I surrender my life to you tonight. Save my soul. I believe you died for me on the third day you rose again that I might be justified. Right now, I believe that my sins are forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm a child of God because I've accepted you as my Lord and my Savior and I will serve you all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Keep your hands up. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over these precious souls. Your grace has brought them in. Let the same grace preserve them. I cover every one of you with the precious blood of Jesus. Remain covered till the day of his coming. In the name of Jesus, no force of darkness we drag you from, pull you back from following Christ. The grace that brought you in today will preserve you for life. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. 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 Please complete your forms right now and then pass them on to those church officials that are with you. Shall we all rise to our feet, everybody? Amen. Just a few minutes more and then we have crossed over. Everyone that crosses over to 2017 will take over there. You are crossing over this night to take over. Throughout 2017, you never go under. Your family will never go under. Your children will never go under. Everyone crossing over tonight, you will be there to cross over to 2018. In the name of Jesus. 2017 shall be your year of laughter. Before you recover from one laughter, the next one has landed. It shall be your year of unending testimony. Your obedience will keep paying for you. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands and whatever you want to say in this crossover moment, go ahead and say to God. I thank you for the grace to cross over to 2017 and I believe the prophetic word for the year everyone will know that my case is different
of Jesus. Now, in this last moment, whatever must not cross over with you to 2017, begin to cross them right now. Whatever must not cross over with you to 2017, begin to cross them right now. That sickness must not cross over with you. That indebtedness must not cross over with you. That spell, that enchantment must not cross over with you. Whatever must not cross over with you to 2017, begin to call them by name and clear them off your power. In the name of Jesus, you are not permitted to cross over with me into 2017. You foul spirit of sickness and disease, you foul spirit of defilement, you are not permitted to cross over with me. You foul spirit of spells and enchantment, you are not permitted to cross over with me. You foul spirit of stagnation, you are not permitted to cross over with me. I'm entering my season of rest. I'm entering my season of noiseless breakthroughs. Noiseless breakthroughs. Noiseless breakthroughs. I'm entering my season of noiseless breakthroughs. seconds more and then we are in 2017. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that must not cross over with you to 2017 drops right now. Every activity of demonic spirit afflicting any aspect of your life goes down now. <laughs> Lift up those two hands. Father, thank you for this last moment of the year 2016. And thank you for the glorious entrance you are granting us in a few seconds into the year 2017. Thank you because this year, it is clear already that our case is different. Come on, celebrate him into 2017. Celebrate Jesus into 2017. Celebrate Jesus into 2017. Celebrate Jesus into 2017. It is your year of laughter your year of unending testimonies, your year of noiseless breakthroughs, celebrate him. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Welcome 2017. Welcome 2017. Welcome 2017. Welcome 2017. 2017, here we come to take over in all dimensions. 2017, here we come to take over in all ramifications. Blessed be the name of the Lord who has ordained to make our case different in the year 2017. It shall not be as before anymore. Oh yes, it's a new day. It's a new dawn. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, give the Lord the biggest clap offering. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Thank you, Father. Father, 
we thank you for bringing us over to the year 2017. We receive all of your declared word for the year 2017. And we thank you because we're a covenant-keeping God. Every step of our journey this year, it shall be clear that our case is different. In your spiritual life, it shall be clear that your case is different. In your family life, it shall be clear that your case is different. In your health, it shall be clear that your case is different. Your business, your career, it shall be clear that your case is different. In the lives of your children, it shall be clear that your case is different. No matter the heat on this earth, it will never affect you and your household. Your obedience will continue to make the difference in your life. Your obedience will continue to make the difference in your life. Shall we celebrate God in a moment, please?
Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I say to you all, Happy and Prosperous New Year. Happy, Happy New Year to everyone. Go ahead and have a handshake with at least seven people, wishing them Happy and Prosperous New Year. Happy and Prosperous New Year. Happy and a Prosperous New Year. Happy and a prosperous new year. Wishing you a most fulfilling, enriching, empowering new year. You and your household. Happy, happy new year. Happy, happy new year. Happy, happy new year. Happy and prosperous, empowering, and enriching new year. Come on. Give him a shout of praise. Shout of praise! Give him a shout of praise! In Jesus. Precious name, we have entered the year 2017. The good news is that every step of your life, all through this year, we show that your case is different. Whatever negative thing identified with you in 2016, You'll never see them again forever. In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please get seated. Hallelujah. Now we're going to run through these prophetic declarations in a moment. And you'll be saying that after me, and all I want the studio to do is to get us started from A, my case is different. Hallelujah. Just before we move, we discover from scriptures that no prophecy ever gets fulfilled on its own, but every prophetic word always leaves believers with what to do to see it fulfilled. Now, number one, say with me as I maintain my covenant walk with God all through the year 2017. Why others may be drying up, I shall be flourishing because my case is different. As I continue to serve God with joy and gladness, God shall make me to love, and all that here shall love with me. As I serve the interests of the kingdom of God throughout the year 2017 and beyond, 
I shall never lack bread and water on my table. Because I've made my choice to serve the Lord, no matter how many businesses collapse, in this season of uncertainties, none of mine shall collapse. As I continue to serve God, throughout 2017 and beyond, when men say there's a casting down, I shall be singing there's a lifting up. As I walk in the light of scriptures, the destructions and devastations of these hard times shall never come near my habitation. By the light of life, at work in my life, all through 2017, I shall never get to a point where I will not know the way forward. As I remain committed to the covenant of abundance, I shall be exempted from the oncoming economic holocaust. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. No one shall ask me again, where is your God? By my commitment to kingdom advancement and divorce, all through 2017, everything shall be speaking in my favor. All through 2017, everything shall be working together for my good as I maintain my covenant work with God. I believe serving God guarantees fruitfulness. Therefore, I shall bring forth my miracle children this year. Because the fruit of the womb is listed among the rewards of service, I shall bring forth supernaturally this year. For every form of shame I may have suffered, there shall be double restoration for me this year. There shall be double restoration for me this year. My days of manifestations are finally here. From 2017 and beyond, and by reason of my covenant work with God, I shall be feeding fat from heaven's storehouse. Can I tell you this, when there is no more food in the market, there will still be food in your store. When people have money, have nothing to buy, you will still have more than enough to eat. All through 2017, why many may be begging, I shall be given. In 2017, why many may be living with hunger, I shall be distributing food to the hungry. My covenant work with God today shall continue to distinguish me all through this season of uncertainties. As I follow divine guidance, wonders without end shall be my experience all through the year 2017 and beyond. As I maintain my covenant work with God, my showers of blessing shall continue to come down. 
As I continue to serve God all through 2017, I shall be singing breakthrough songs all the way. I shall be singing breakthrough songs all the way. I shall be singing breakthrough songs all the way. You know the reason why if they will obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. You will not experience any dry season in 2017. You shall not experience any dry season in 2017. As I maintain my covenant work with God, my showers of blessing will continue to come down. As I continue to put God's word to work, my life shall no longer be a question mark, but an exclamation among men. Now watch it. Everyone that receives the prophetic word You'll be springing surprises all through this new year. <laughs> Things that no man has ever imagined happen through you shall begin to happen like a dream of the night. <laughs> Somebody believe that. Let me hear your loudest amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. You'll never be a question mark anymore among men. You'll never be a question mark anymore among men. Yeah. From henceforth, money shall become a non-issue in my life. Through my tireless commitment to covenant practice, I shall be financially settled this year. Can I hear the loudest amen from you? Why must you shout that amen? It will become the greatest issue of concern to the world. I mean, it's going to become the greatest issue of concern to the world. But it shall become an issue of least concern to you. Bailout will become your hiding place. As I maintain a quality covenant work with God, in the midst of this economic meltdown, I shall be scaling new heights. I shall be scaling new heights. If you don't have a good concept, put it off. Through the mystery of Titan, this time of economic horror shall be my time of financial honor. Can I hear your loudest amen? As I remain committed to kingdom advancement givings, my financial dominion shall be established this year. How many receive that? I said your financial dominion shall be established this year. Your financial dominion shall be established this year. Your financial dominion shall be established this year. Now, by my raw obedience to the law of giving and receiving, Money shall become of least concern to me all through 2017 and beyond. As giving and receiving becomes my lifestyle, supernatural abundance shall become my testimony all through 2017 and beyond through 2017 and beyond. 
Let's close with this segment. My season of celebration has finally come. Amen. All through the year 2017, you'll be hearing congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Everywhere you turn, you'll be hearing 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 congratulations. Say with me as I continue to serve God. Every day shall be Christmas for me all through the year 2017. Every day shall be Christmas for me all through the year 2017. Stand to your feet, everybody. Come on, give him a shout of victory. Amen. Someday, I heard God say some unbelievable things to me, and at that time, there were no things to consider. Because there was nothing in the environment that smells it. But one by one, most of them are on ground today. Because it is the word you receive and believe that you are empowered to become. How many believe that their case is ordained to be different? And how many believe that their case shall be different all through 2017? <laughs> Lift up your two hands and express your faith in the prophetic world that you have heard. I seek them by faith. He speaks according to his capacity. He speaks according to his resources. He speaks according to his power. He speaks according to his authority. prophetic world in Jesus precious name we have given thanks the good news is the year you have long been waiting for has finally come. Every unsettled area of your life shall be settled within the first quarter. Every unsettled aspect of your life shall be supernaturally settled this year. From today, everything begins to turn in your favor. Before this first day is over, your first good news will come. Thank you, Father. Lift up those two hands and give God thanks and praise. Again, congratulate your neighbors to your right and to your left. Congratulations. Welcome to 2017. Congratulations. Congratulations. Give the Lord a big hand and get seated. My case is different. Let the Redeemer of the Lord say. 
it is testimony time. Give Jesus a big, big hand. Let the following brethren come forward to share their testimony with speed. Deacon Linus Pata. Deacon Linus Pata. Aladegbe mi modukwe, Mrs. Aladegbe mi modukwe, Mrs. Okocha. Uyi Peter. Pastor Commander Abiodun Anthony. Okpeye mi Ojogu. And a he get a blessing. A he get a blessing. Okpeye mi Ojogu. Pastor Commander Abiodun. Uyi Peter. Mrs. Okocha. Aladegbe mi modukwe. And Dickin. Linus Pata. Give Jesus a big hand as they come. He has done all things well. The deaf, they hear, and the dumb, they speak. Put your hands together for Jesus. Please come forward to share your testimony, your name, straight to the point, what the Lord has done for you. My name is Dickin Linus Pata. I joined this commission in 2001. I have been attending Shiloh since 2002 to date. I'm from Living Faith Church, Elele One, Port Harcourt. I was at Shiloh 2016. I returned from Shiloh 2016 on Sunday. And then by Monday, I went out to wash my car. Along Elele One, Elele Road. East West Road, Port Harcourt. Suddenly, I saw a trailer that fell break, and immediately, it, I ran out of the place because the trailer fell exactly where I parked the car by the gutter, opposite the car wash. And then the fire started. There was a heavy burst. I ran for my life, but after two hours of inferno, I realized that. 24 cars were born to ashes at the last count. Two persons died and were born to ashes. The filling station on the left hand of my car and the light of my car were all born to ashes. <laughs> Hallelujah. The canopy where I parked my car to wash was born to ashes. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the God of exemption Papa said, Psalm 91 and Psalm 126 shall be the portion of every winner. Papa's picture was at the sticker, and the sticker of this commission was in the, at the screen of my car. My car was supernaturally exempted by the God of this commission. Indeed, my case is different. Six police officers, six police officers, asked me, where do I worship? I took them. They escorted me to our church, Living Faith Church, a little war. They instantly gave their life to Christ. Pastor Chris Akwebosui anointed them. I have come to give, give Jesus a big hand. Shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, you may be seated. Amen. My case is different. Let the Redeemer of the Lord say, My name is Navy Commander Pastor Abiodun Olalekon Anthony. Last year, 2016, was supposed to be our year when we are supposed to be promoted in the Nigerian Navy. While we were waiting for this in the month of November, it was declared as our month of praise. We decided in our family to encounter God by praising Him in one hour and also by praying the kingdom, uh, uh, kingdom prayer for another one hour. After which, we will now end it with the prophetic declaration for another one hour before joining for the covenant hour of praise. That is what we did every morning in November. By December, I was in Abuja, to be precise, in Kubwa during Shiloh. Our names were actually supposed to be out. It was delayed and delayed and delayed until around December. On the fourth day of 
and Shiloh 2016. I left office at about 4.30 with disappointment that the names has not yet been released. Every one of us were expecting, but we don't really know who and whose name will be in the promotion list. I came to Shiloh ground, not even asking God for anything pertaining to the promotion, but I had Bishop say four prophetic declarations. Number one, as soon as we got there, he said 2016, 2016 and 2017, that Psalm 126 shall be our testimony. Then he now said again, he said 24 hours is too much for God. As he was praying again, he said one hour is too big for God to turn our situation around. As we were about to close for that service on that day, he, Papa said, he said some of you, as soon as you get to your car now, you will own your phone and it shall be congratulating message. Lo and behold, I got to my car that night after that celebration night. It was a congratulating message. I didn't first of all know what, where it was coming from. When I read through the test, it said, congratulations, sir. You have been promoted. I look at the list. Number one, two, three, and the fourth name happened to be my name. I am now promoted from a lieutenant commander in the Navy to a Navy commander. I give God all the glory. Give Jesus a big, big hand of praise. Shout hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. My name is Okpayemi Ojogu. When I was pregnant in year 2015, I experienced a uh, I experienced severe pain during the pregnancy. So I went to the doctor and I was told that I have a fibroid. They told me that I have four things that cause the pains. The first one is fibroid. The second one, they told me my baby is bridge. The, sec the third one, they said the water that the baby is using to live is not sufficient. And the fourth one is that the baby is not growing, that there's nothing I, they could do. So I went to another hospital, which is the government hospital. They said the same thing. So I came to church and I continued praying with the, the, with, the, with the pains. So later, my husband told me that if, we can, if I can believe that this fibro will come out if I want to give birth to the baby, I said, okay, we continue praying. But on Chilo 2015, when we were doing feet washing, Papa said, whatever we did not want, to go back home with us, that we two things that we do not want to go back with us, that we should write them inside a, a paper. So I wrote the two things. The first one was that I want my baby to turn to the normal position. The second one that I want uh, the, the uh, that the vibrant should disappear. So to my surprise, when I went for this uh, the, uh, for test again, my baby has already turned to the normal position. <laughs> And the, 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 and the, the five rod, they, they could not find it again. So when they checked, the, when, they, when they told me I could not believe it, I went back to the, to the person that, test, that did the test. He did the test again. He said, Madam, you are okay. He gave me the result. So finally, when I want to give birth, being the first time, in fact, I did not even know that it is, it is the, the baby is coming out. It was the midnight. I gave birth, with, I gave birth to my baby by myself inside my room. Give Jesus a big hand for this testimony. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My case is different and let the redeemer of the Lord say so. I want to return Amen. all the... My name is Mrs. Okocha Mary Ann. I have come with my husband to return all the glory to God for what he has done for me and for my family. God restored the four years separation of this marriage and God make all my families to become winners today. Praise the Lord. In the year 2011, November, this marriage gets scattered. We can't even explain what is the problem, but there have been issues since we got the marriage. So when I travel home to village, all through my stay in Lagos, I never hear anything about Living Faith Church. But when I travel to my village, Eboy State, on AK, when one day, 31st December 2011, 
that particular day, I can never forget that day. I have really made up my mind. God, I'm tired of all this. My children are not with me. My husband is not with me. My parents are against me. The whole world is against me. I say, Father, let me just go and die. I'm tired of living. On my way passing, I saw a signboard where they write Living Faith Church. I, oh, that was on 31st de de December 2011. So in the night, I came back again to fellowship with them. I saw them watching television and people were dancing. I said, ah, ah, what type of church is this? People are watching television and they are dancing. Is this dream? Praise the Lord. So on the, I said, after the all night, on Sunday, I will come again. Let me see whether that is easy because of television or, or this is how the church used to be. Praise the Lord. So when I come on Sunday again, the pastor at Oneke, their Pastor Benjamin, he ministered again. It's just like what the papa was ministering. I said, ah, this church is, is different. They now say that if I stay here in three months, God will do something. Ah, I say, oh, oh, I will stay. I do foundation class. I do worthy. I join sanctuary. I join choir. Anything that I do, I join. Praise the Lord. And to the glory of God Almighty, after the Operation Rescue last year, 2015, after the Operation Rescue by November, miraculously, I cannot explain, but before that reconciliation, I can remember by October, somebody called me on phone and said, Madam, your child is writing a mock exam. Because my husband told me, since after separation, my children are not going to school. Everything is scattered, everywhere is blocked. But to God be the glory. That day, my son got scholarship without me being there because I put it in prayer. My marriage is settled November last year to the glory of God. God of this commission has changed my story. He has clothed me. Me that used to wear one cloth cannot change clothes. My husband is living. Last year, not that first December, I wanted to share the testimony. I came to church on that first night. My husband cannot breathe again. I said, devil, you're a liar. People will say that I reconcile marriage on November and I bring my husband to my church to kill him. The God of this commission, restore my husband. He's alive today. I restore and Give Jesus a big, big Hand. Shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Um, my name is Aladik Bemi Modukpai. I joined this commission of July of this year, 2016. I suffered from sickle cell anemia. Um, I when I was in 2013, I got bullied by this boy in my school, and he pushed me, and I, that ended up being a brain surgery. And I was instantly in the intensive care unit. From then, I was homeschooled, and every three weeks, like two needles would be punched into my chest for blood transfusions. I attended Shiloh this, this year, and I said, I wrote, on my, my, one, my number one wish was sickle cell for not to be in my life. One, my one wish. I, I went to the healing and deliverance sessions. I keyed into it. I, and, and during the impartation nights, Papa said different illnesses and sickle cell was mentioned. I instantly keyed into them. I, since then, my faith has been carrying me. I just took the test, blood test yesterday, December 30th, and it looked and it seemed SS to AA. Give Jesus a big hand for this testimony. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Blessed Naigato. Give all the glory to God of this commission. I joined this commission in the year 2014. Before now, I was encamped to the bondage of bedwetting. I would always come for Shiloh, but would never know the reason for coming. I attended Shiloh 2014, 2015, no changes. Though the devil tried not to make me attend Shiloh, but he failed. I came to Shiloh on Friday. There, a lady shared a testimony of how God delivered her from the bondage of bedwetting. Where I sat under the tent, I said, God, only if you have not put the team of the mouth 
of the Shiloh into your servant's mouth. Let this continue. I went back to where my parents parked. I slept, and the same thing happened. This time, I became very angry and said in anger, Devil, you can't stop me, because my case is different. Lo and behold, ever since then, brethren, in date, God has broken the bondage of steers, brethren, in my life. I've come to give God all the glory. Give Jesus a big hand for all this testimony. Lift your hands to Jesus. Celebrate him. He is the Lord. Glory to God. In Jesus' great name, we have given thanks. As we continue tonight in this celebration night, join me as we welcome the Dwell's company. Give Jesus a big hand. You can do better for Jesus. One of the greatest apostles of the New Testament said, and I quote, no, Be not that they which run in a race run all, but one receive the prize. So run that they may obtain. This is the joy company, and we are the now generation. We are the theater ham of the Winners Youth Alive Fellowship all the way from Canaan Alta. Africa. We want to appreciate the leadership of the brilliant given to us on this first day of the 2017, our year of exemption, to minister in a production that we have titled The Race. The Race. If you are set for the race of exemption, come and jam your hand together for Jesus. Ah. 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 See, it's not fair like this. But let me tell everybody. Without any gain saying, hi, I've gained so much ground in the gospel circle such that my ministry has spread its tentacles far and wide from Nigeria here down to other nations of Africa because of the fulfillment of the prophecy that I'm moving from glory to glory in 2016. My people, I can't explain enough because I'm confident that those that do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. I have broken so many new grounds, break my own record, set new ones, beyond my expectation. So, I don't think I should still be bothering myself with this rigorous training. Huh. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings and not me men. I haven't given so much commitment and hard work to my job. I have enjoyed unusual promotion that does not come from the West, East, or South. In my office, I have attained higher altitudes such that I enjoyed honor without error. So I don't think people like us should be part of this training session. You are right. Um, I don't know about you, but as for me, I am sure that Kochi would change his mind when he hears my story. You want to hear my stories? Are you sure? Okay, see, God has given me knowledge and skills in all learning and wisdom such that I have more understanding than all of my teachers. Therefore, I become a wonder to many because it is declared that it is my year of quantum leaps. So I wonder why people like us should um, need training. How does it change my career? Abby? <laughs> now listen up. Nevertheless, you think you have attained? See, you must walk by the same rule and mind the same things that made you to attain this glory. Now hear me. It is hard work to go from glory to glory. It is harder work for your case to be different. I remember those times 
days when I used to go with hunger. I have tracked distances. I'm talking about sharing tracks. Speaking of evangelism around the streets, I have gone to so many places. I'm talking about from Okoko to Songo. I'm talking about from Oshodi to Ajangbadi. See, the soul of my feet was chopped off. And my leg were fellowshipping with the ground. But when the Lord turned and came my captivity, it was like a dream that dreamed. And my mouth was filled with laughter. <laughs> and my financial status was like that of Joseph order of blessing. My brother, do I now still need any training? I wonder. For business magnates, hmm. who has dominated several conglomerates in this continent and diaspora, I have harvested so many dividends from my international shares, stock, capital markets, and various investments. <laughs> it will actually take an angel to convince me that I still need training to remain successful. My dear, train me now for those who are still trying to find their footing in the business world. But for us, I beg for you. Enough. Enough of exercising yourself in little matters. Depart. Arise. You have overstayed this mountain of your glory too much. God is not done with you. He wants to exempt you from the economic holocaust and honor you in these times of horror. God wants you to be a foolproof of the covenant in order to command supernatural exploits in this recession period. Uh -uh. He wants you to display the dexterity of his hands so that you will humble the secular stars. I mean, all these things you are saying is just a tip of the iceberg. So, we guess everybody, that means we have automatic access to the exemption grace. I mean, uh, let's go there. No. No. Coach. What ah. else do we need to do? How about this regular training? I've been now. Ah. Now, let me tell you. Training is never ending. Because training ushers you into mastery and maturity. Mm. Now, let me tell you something. In 2017, we must maximize every training platforms, such as the 21 days of fasting, the monthly week of spiritual emphasis, the covenant hour of prayers, I'm talking about the Word of Faith Bible Institute's programs and every spiritual program that will come your way. You see, the reason why a man is up last year and down this year is because the man is not having consistent training and lack of abrupt response to instructions. But a man that is always having training is always on fire. Agbado is Agbado. But the difference between roasted corn and boiled corn is that roasted corn has direct encounter with fire. Yeah. Are you set for 2017? Yes, sir. Are you set to be on fire? Yes, sir. All right, begin to shake off every form of ungodliness. Yes. Madam, shake off bitterness, shake off bitterness. Oh God, shake off lying, shake off lying. Fornication, adultery, idolatry, shake it off. Spiritual deafness, anger, bitterness, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Drunkenness, smoking, shake it off. At your marks. The year is set before us like a racetrack. But I wouldn't have you go like other years. Receive the fresh anointing for noiseless breakthrough in Jesus name set meet you at the touch line with your testimonies come Shiloh 2017 
Hallelujah. The race has begun. Now it's time to engage the prayer altar on the items of our documented expectation. Jacob was left alone and secured a change of name for that period. I won't let you go until these issues are settled. And then he said to them, the next 15 minutes we shall be engaging as individuals on issues listed on our expectation document. What do you desire the year to deliver? What are your expectations? Get seated one minute. Deuteronomy 20, 32 and verse 24. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled with him a man until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his heart tie and the hollow of Jacob's tie was out of joint as he wrestled with him. It's an illustration of engaging the prayer altar with every zeal and zest. And he said, let me go for the day break it. He said, I will not let you go until or except you bless me. I'm here for a change of story. I'm here for a new beginning. I'm here for an encounter that will open a new chapter to my life. And he said, what is thy name? He said, Jacob. He said, thy name shall no longer be Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, thou hast power with God and with men and hast prevailed. We serve a prayer answering God. He said, you have not because you ask not. And whatsoever things ye ask in prayer, believe in that you receive them, then you shall have them. Stand to your feet. The way you lay your bed is the way you lie on it. What do you want him to do for you? You were asked to document that, so you must have done that. Now I'd like you to go before the Lord as if you were the only one in church tonight and lay a solid foundation for your expectation for the year as you engage the prayer altar for help from above. Go ahead and pray. All over the world, it's your opportunity to enforce the delivery of your expectations. Go ahead and enforce the delivery of your expectations for the year 2017. What do you look forward to? Everybody's praying. Everybody is praying. It's your personal expectation prayer. You shall seek for me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. 
Father, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voices wherever you are.
Jero plekrek teno riale sazo. Arada kraktano redia le prado. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray in the name of Jesus. Over those issues of interest to you. Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Most of the time, the mouth is so engaged why the heart has remained neutral. You shall seek for me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29 verse 13. Now, in the next two, three minutes, you are going to demand what must be delivered. Praying with your heart, like Anna, pouring your soul to Jesus. Now, let it be one thing right now. Go ahead and pray.
Jesus precious name we have prayed whatever you have demanded this moment they are delivered to you for a testimony in the name of Jesus this first day demand is turned to a testimony in your hand And so shall it be. Let us give him praise for a moment, everybody. Master of the universe, Master of the universe, you are the reality. You are the Somebody celebrate, you are the master. You are the master. You are the master. A pair of wings. You are the head. You are the head. Over. You are, you are, you are, you are. Celebrate, you are the head. You are the head. Over. You are the head. Over. You are the master. Master. Somebody rejoice. You are the master. Give him glory. You are the master. Oh, my God. 
We shall be rising to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, remove all barriers to the full delivery of the prophetic verdict for this year, in love of every winner. Let's say amen. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9, it said, A great door and effectual is open to me, and there are many adversaries. Let me have faith to demolish every barrier this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, remove all barriers to the full delivery of the prophetic verdict for this year in the name of every winner. In the name of Jesus Christ, are you praying? Pray in the name of Jesus and pray with confidence this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, remove all barriers to the full delivery of the prophetic verdict for this year in the life of every winner, in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Let God hear your voice as you pray confidently, as you pray with boldness, in the name of Jesus. Father, remove all barriers to the full delivery of the verdict for this year, love of every winner, in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let the Lord hear your voice as you pray. Pray passionately. Pray with faith. In the name of Jesus, every barrier is demolished. Every barrier is removed. In the name of Jesus, someone is praying. Someone is praying. Pray this prayer with every faith that you can muster. In the name of Jesus, Father, remove all barriers. So the full delivery of what the verdict for this year in love of every winner in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Are you praying? Make sure that you are praying. Make sure that you are praying. You are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. You are praying with faith. Believe in God for an answer this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, remove all barriers to the full delivery and put the verdict for this year, in love of every winner, in the name of Jesus, every barrier, le kusha baro te kotazo, babarete etosusia, abane shakotabi, ezuse le toparondea, adazotenea, barade, 
Rectosia, Ecotano, Ebabando, Shate, Clota, Barra, Tazaze. Every barrier be removed. Radusha Galada, Ezutabalo, Nekushake, Abeno Zati, Ishabano, Bebe, Neto Zaza, Eclero Barato Cletosi, Yetu Zata Barote, O Baba Nata Geto Zade. Pray for more, pray for more with confidence in the name. Of Jesus, when we pray in that name, heaven's answers. Redo shago raba, eko tabalo zese, neshinda, neshinda, eko paro zizo, itabate leko tabia, oh shagara tako tabia, ezado brati. Every barrier is demolished. Every barrier is removed. Are you praying? Are you praying? Let God hear your voice. Pray with faith. Pray with confidence and boldness. Radush alopano ze kotabia. Eka katarada. Zazado. Retande. Yapanda. Eko balo zate klotabelo. Eka tarada. Zazara tago te loboranda. O shakatalabaya. Zazaro perode. O pate kete. Rekotado. Yeparada. Every barrier is removed. Redo shado laba. In the name. Of Jesus Christ, pray Rato Shandelo Palada. Every barrier on the way is cleared off. In the name of Jesus Christ, Wabaro Tekotobali, Eshadano Pekotosia, Eshalo Parande, Ezazare Keto Parandaya. Are you praying? Pray some more. Pray some more. Yeto Zizo, Yeto Zizo, Erushaga, Barete Susi. Now give God thanks. Celebrate Him. I give you the glory. Give God thanks. Celebrate Him. I give you the glory. Every barrier is the moon. Father, we thank you. Thank you for victory. Thank you for victory. Thank you, man God. And in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please be seated and give God a big hand. My case is different. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Shortly, we are rising up again to pray. This time, we'll be praying, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, baptize every winner with the spirit of obedience to keep the prophetic demands of this year, thereby experiencing supernatural exemption. Taking our bearing from Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 27, the scripture says, And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgment and do them. Please, let's rise up on our feet this day. Lift up your voice before the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, baptize every winner with the spirit of obedience to keep the prophetic demands of this year, thereby experiencing supernatural exemption in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, baptize every winner with the spirit of obedience to keep the prophetic demands of the year 2017, thereby experiencing supernatural exemption in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, baptize every winner with the spirit of obedience to keep the prophetic demands of this year 2017, thereby experiencing supernatural exemption in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, baptize me with the spirit of obedience. Almighty God, baptize every winner with the spirit of obedience to keep the prophetic demand of the year 2017, thereby experiencing supernatural exemption in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray with all of your heart. Let the Lord hear your voice this morning. Almighty God, baptize every one of us in the winner's family with the spirit of obedience to keep the prophetic demands of this year 2017 thereby 
experiencing supernatural exemption in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, by your mighty hand, baptize each one of us in the winner's family with the spirit of obedience to be able to keep the prophetic demands of the year 2017, thereby experiencing supernatural exemption in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, exemption from job losses, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, exemption from retrenchment, in the mighty name of Jesus, exemption from business failure, in the mighty name of Jesus, express ex exemption from change of fortune, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, exemption from every misfortune, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, are you pray with all of your heart, Elia Babo, Ozoa Leba, Ezekle Baba Lodon Lelea, Azoa Epotolua, Almighty God, baptize every winner with the spirit of obedience to keep the prophetic demands of the year 2017, thereby experiencing supernatural exemption in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, our eyes are on you this morning. We pray that you will baptize every winner with the spirit of obedience to keep the prophetic demands of the year 2017, thereby experiencing supernatural exemption in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, baptize every winner with the spirit of obedience to keep the prophetic demands of the year 2017, thereby experiencing supernatural exemption in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray with all fervency. Let the Lord hear your voice this morning. Let the Lord hear your voice this morning. Lord, the spirit of obedience, let it come upon every winner in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we will be able to keep the prophetic demands of this year, our year of exemption. Thereby, each one of us will experience supernatural exemption from every evil in the year 2017 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let it be. Lift up your hands to him this morning. Give him thanks. It's a prayer hands to God. Father, Lord, we give you praise. Blessed be thy name, almighty God. In Jesus' great name we have prayed. Please, you may be seated. My case is different. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. In a short while, we shall be rising up to pray. And when we do, we shall be saying, Father, anoint all our pastors, ministers, leaders afresh for supernatural impact this year, resulting in continuous growth and enlargement. Let's say a loud amen. amen. Psalm 92 and verse 10. But my own shall thou exalt like the own of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Let's rise up to our feet and let's raise our voices and let's pray with passion. Let's pray believing every word that we are saying. Let the heart agree with the mouth as we pray. Father, anoint all our pastors, ministers, and leaders afresh for supernatural impact. This year, resulting in continuous growth and enlargement in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that you anoint all our pastors, all our ministers, all our leaders afresh for supernatural impact. This year, resulting in continuous growth and enlargement in all areas, in all ramifications, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that you anoint all our pastors, 
all our ministers and all our leaders are fresh for supernatural impact. This year, 2017, resulting in continuous growth and enlargement, the kind we have never seen before, greater than what we have ever recorded before, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, in the name of your Holy Child Jesus, that you anoint all our pastors, all our ministers, all our leaders are fresh for supernatural impact this year resulting in continuous growth and enlargement in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for fresh oil. Fresh oil upon all our pastors. Fresh oil upon all our leaders. Fresh oil upon all our ministers for supernatural impact this year resulting in continuous growth and enlargement in the mighty name of Jesus. You have done it before, you will do it again in a greater dimension. Father, we ask, oh Lord, that you anoint all our pastors, all our ministers, and all our leaders are fresh for supernatural impact this year, 2017, for continuous growth, for continuous enlargement in the mighty name of Jesus. Renato Sikalia Parada, Ambrana Bosigelia Kata, Agama Borane, Ebre de Boli, Ebre de Zendalia Katalia Brede. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you anoint all our pastors, anoint all our ministers, anoint all our leaders afresh for supernatural impact in all levels of ministration, resulting in continuous growth and enlargement in our operations in the mighty name of Jesus, a Benekuri da da bolia branade, rigado sintali agata, agaga da bali bradadi ala pali abrede, embranamo, a brinamo sigali agata gilipregede. Father, we ask, O Lord, that you anoint all our pastors, all our ministers, and all our leaders are fresh for supernatural impact this year, 2017 resulting in continuous growth and enlargement in the mighty name of Jesus. Is someone praying with passion? Is someone praying believing? Is someone praying boldly? Is someone praying with confidence? Let's pray now. Pray, pray, pray. Let heaven hear you. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that you anoint all our pastors, anoint all our ministers, anoint all our leaders afresh for supernatural impact. This year, 2017, resulting in continuous growth and enlargement greater than what we have ever seen before greater than what we have ever witnessed before in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O Lord, that you anoint all our pastors, anoint all our ministers, all our WSF ministers, our zonal ministers, Anoint every one of them afresh. Anoint all our leaders afresh for supernatural impact. This year resulting in continuous growth, resulting in continuous enlargement in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to push that prayer by praying the Holy Ghost right now. Begin by praying the Holy Ghost. Irada Sitalia Barra, E Bamanania, Arada Gosigalia Catabranade, E Menino Yate, E Genecusigaria Catagala Parade, Ambranado, E Garua Catagaria, Ababa Baba Baba Radaya Tagaba, Inglacotia Gelebregede, Erina Noyate, Amblagetu, Ayatalia Garada Gosigalia Catebe, Embranadusi, Agari Gados in Talia Gala, Anglacate Gelebrege, Eriga Dagasia. Ambrade, O Brada Sigalia, que te equilibre, le gudi preya, Ambrade Sunda, Angagagagagaglia, Prada Bossi, le polie pregesunda, Engla Cosi, le polie pregeseli, que Sunda, Rida da Yalapa, Ababa Baba Bara da Basata, le Abra, Erigado. Let's begin to appreciate him now, appreciate him, exalt his holy name, he has had you, he has answered us. Father, we give you all the glory, we appreciate you, we exalt your holy name. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You may be comfortably seated. My case is different. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. In this crossover celebration service, it is announcement time. Number one, Happy New Year. Welcome to your year of exemption where your case shall be positively different in all areas of your life. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. 
Number two, the covenant hour of prayer for the year 2017 commences tomorrow, Monday to Saturday, at each station's designated times. Take advantage of this platform as an avenue for your spiritual growth and development, among others. Number three, praise the Lord. The 21 days of prayer and fasting for the year 2017 comes up between Monday 9th and Sunday 29th of January 2017. I thought somebody is putting their hands together for the Lord. Prepare in earnest to make the most of this platform in setting the pace for this year of exemption. Expectation prayer cards shall be circulated next Sunday across our churches worldwide. Number four, good news. A private developer has commenced development of various types of houses ranging from one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom detached and semi-detached at Kenaland. Interested individuals who desire more details should visit the website listed on the screen www.kenancityproject.com or call at the project office located on the way to Covenant University Secondary School. Number five, good news. The annual Libration Night, which commemorates the 36th year anniversary of this commission, we hold on Friday the 5th of May, 2017. As God launches this commission to greater height, we should all look forward to the reenactment of the liberation mandate at this prophetic night, as it has always been the case. Number six, praise the Lord. Shiloh 2017. The annual convocation of the Winners Family Worldwide we hold between the 5th and 10th of December 2017. Put your hands together for the Lord. Please take note of these dates as you plan your annual calendar. Number seven, WSF meeting. The first Winners Satellite Fellowship meeting for the year holds next Saturday, 7th of January 2017 at all the designated centers. Every member is expected to be in attendance as we share fellowship with one another. Time, 5 p.m. Number eight, praise the Lord. Next Sunday, the 8th of January, 2017, shall be a special communion service in all our churches worldwide. We shall be partaking of the communion in preparation for a most glorious adventure in our 21-day prayer and fasting. Service schedules are as usual. Jesus is Lord. Please listen attentively to this special announcement for Shiloh Sacrifice Payment Channels. In response to the several calls on how to redeem Shiloh Sacrifices, the following payment channels are available. One, issuance of checks. A, faith, faith Tabernacle worshippers should issue check in honor of Faith Tabernacle Shiloh sacrifice. B, worshippers in mission stations within Nigeria should issue their checks in honor of Shiloh sacrifice. C, worshippers in all foreign mission stations should issue their checks in honor of name of the local assembly but the offering envelope should be marked Shiloh sacrifice. Two, online giving in Naira or Forex. Please go to the website www.faithtabernacle.org.ng. Three, to use the Winners Pay app, go to the Play Store for Android devices only. Four, to use telephone network, Naira payment only. Die star three two two star two seven nine nine star amount ash or star three eight nine star three ash number five to use ATM Naira payment only go to Quick Teller select make payment then type zero four two seven nine nine zero five 
for Shiloh Sacrifice and type 042-79904 for Faith Theater Seed. For detailed information on the payment channels listed above, please visit the website www.faithtabernacle.org.ng. Enquiries on check or checks not cleared can be made by calling on the following telephone lines 234-8033916626 through plus 234-8035784536 and plus 234-8028473767. Jesus is Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. My case is different, and let the redeemed of the Lord say so. It's time right now to bring out your New Year worship offering to worship the Almighty God. It's offering time. If you're excited, shout my blessing time. Make it louder and more confidently. So shall it be for you. If you haven't done so, please properly package your New Year worship seed, label it appropriately all across the globe, wherever you may be right now and put it together, and let's get set to worship God with our offerings. In case you are giving your Shiloh sacrifice, please remember all the announcements and instructions were given just a while ago. As you do so, remember what the Word of God says to us in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. But seek ye first and to grateful to God that the first seed you are given this new year 2017, you are given upwards to the Almighty God who is never in need. And as you do so today, financial dominion shall be someone's testimony. If you are that person, let your amen show it. Would you please rise up on your feet with gratitude to God? Take your new year worship offering in your hand. Lift it up to the Lord, present it to him as you lift up your voice, lift up your seed, give God thanks for putting seed in your hand today. Magnify his name. As you give God the first, he will keep making you first in every area of life. Give him thanks. Father, we glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. This offering lifted up unto God as you give it in obedience on this first day of the year 2017. Welcome to your season of financial dominion. Yeah. As you sow this seed today, every financial pressure is turned to pleasure. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yeah. Shout a louder, amen. Yeah. Wave your offering to the Lord and say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Louder yet. And now the loudest you can. Shout a loud amen. amen. Please be seated. Cast your seat with joy all over the globe. And right now we welcome the Faith Tabernacle Choir as the leaders as we give our seat.
our two hands to heaven right now. Everybody that believes he's serving a dependable and a reliable God, lift up your two hands to heaven. You believe that this God is ever faithful. You believe that this God is always there, a very present help in time of trouble. Come and celebrate him right now. Lift him up on high. Jesus, blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Yeah. Every encounter with light opens a new chapter to a man's life. Arise and shine because your light is come. Lord, in this second word session, Send me your light. Let my light come. Let my light come. He said, arise and shine because your light is come and the glory of the Lord is upon thee. For darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people of the Lord shall arise upon thee. And the Gentiles will come to your light. Lord, let my word come. Let my light come. Let my light come, Jesus. 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 precious name we have prayed. Yeah. Signs and wonders are confirmations of word encounters. Signs and wonders are confirmations of word encounters. Signs and wonders are confirmations of word encounters. The Lord was working with them, confirming the word with signs following. Every genuine word encounter culminates in testimonies. Can I hear you, amen? Every genuine word encounter culminates in testimonies. Now, here is the good news. The year 2017 shall be your year of noiseless breakthrough. The year 2017 shall be your year of noiseless breakthrough. Let me hear your living amen. Let me hear your bold amen. Let me hear your confident amen. Say with me, the year 2017 shall be my year of noiseless breakthroughs according to the prophetic word. I shall not lift my voice nor cause it to be heard on the street. Yet my impact shall be undeniable. Thank you, Jesus. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and get seated, please. Commanding supernatural man, noiseless breakthroughs in hard times. Commanding noiseless breakthroughs in hard times. They don't look like together. Times are hard. And then you are commanding breakthroughs, not just breakthroughs, noiseless breakthroughs. 
I said earlier in the first segment, you don't make noise to make news. You make covenant moves in this kingdom to make news. Making covenant moves is what makes news in this kingdom. Taking side with God in every instruction received is what culminates in news. This is a noiseless church, yet a news-making church. Remember, we never had any advert for Shiloh 2016. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No radio jingles, no TV, no newspapers, no flyers. We have flyers for Sunday services. And yet, we had an increase of 51.36% of viewership across the nations of the world above 2010 to 15. You don't have to make noise to make news. You make covenant moves to make news. You'll be glad to know there was no special announcement about my movement from No announcement. There was no announcement about my movement to Lagos. We're on our way to Canaan land. We started singing that song and teaching that series four weeks to the time we moved down here. No be bored. You don't have to make noise to make moves. I mean, to make news. You make appropriate moves to make news. Now, I prayed before I came up here that the Lord will impart everybody listening in this prophetic night with the spirit of obedience. Amen. Amen. Because that is the master key to a world of noiseless breakthroughs. Noiseless breakthroughs. Noiseless breakthroughs. And that is God's plan and purpose for every single winner in 2017. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Obedience of faith is a most powerful weapon of war but at the same time, the most neglected weapon of war. People would rather pray than obey. They would rather confess, confess scriptures until they are confused than obey. Yet, obedience has no option in scriptures. Thou shalt serve the Lord thy God, and he shall in return bless your bread and your water. The word bless means he will enrich your bread and your water. For his blessings make it rich and it has no sorrow. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. For what? As you serve me, you have committed me to keep you healthy. Somebody see here, you know what I'm saying? There shall no be barren. And you know the fruit of the womb is his rewards. There shall none serving me be barren in the land. And the number of your days I will fulfill. Thank you, Jesus. Obedience to the commandment of service delivers those blessings full scale. Man.
Fuske, Fuske. Now somebody say, I've been serving God. Your attitude in service is questionable. You are not, most people are not serving, they are testing God. Well, let me see what we do. They say, when we serve you, we will bless us. I've been serving you, didn't bless me. I said, that attitude is why we are not blessed. Not every service is acceptable. Now we must learn what makes us to worship acceptable. Hebrews 12, verse 28. Wherefore we receive in a kingdom that cannot be moved. Let us have grace. Wherefore we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Stop casting as passion on God. It's not gaining nothing from your service. It only provides you an opportunity. You know why God loves me? He's never done me wrong. I'm comfortable with all that he does. But if anything went wrong, I'm the one to be questioned. God is not your mate. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. You are not his uncle. Yes, sir. Let's serve him joyfully and gladly, not questioning him. The God you question cannot be your rewarder. Questioning him is challenging his integrity. Thou shalt serve and he shall bless. If you will obey and serve him, you spend your days in prosperity and your years in pleasures. Those are verdicts. What are they? Verdicts. They are divine, unquestionable verdicts. This year, these things we, speak, we keep speaking loudly in your life. Is somebody see there? That's how powerful, simple obedience can be. You live in another world, the world of the supernatural. Everybody's wondering how things are happening around your life. Remember Jesus said, as my father sent me, even so send I you. When he came, they began to exclaim, what manner of man is this? And what was the secret? He was obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. So he became a living wonder among men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself unto them and became obedient unto death. Obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name above every name. Obedience was the capital rule that gave him his place. He became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God has also highly exalted him, giving him a name above every other name. And he said, let this mind be in you, verse 5, Philippians 2, 5, which also was in Christ Jesus. Obedience was his trade secret. In the name of Jesus, according to the word of God, saviors shall rise in this commission. Amen. Obadiah 21, he said, and saviors shall come up on Man Zion, which shall judge the month of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord. Obedience is key to your tomorrow. Obedience is key to my tomorrow. Obedience is key to your tomorrow. Hear what the Lord said, blessed is the man that fear the Lord, that greatly demand the life himself in his commandment. Wealth and rich, he said, his seed also shall be met upon the earth. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness shall endure forever. So obedience is key to your tomorrow. 
Obedience is key to my tomorrow. Receive grace to walk in delight some obedience from henceforth. Not coerced obedience, not pressurized obedience, not murmuring obedience, but delight some obedience, enjoying it internally, externally. Have a reform in obeying God. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. That will continue to change your story forever and without end. Amen. Yeah. what it is. Look at this man that was in obedience in Psalm 112, verse 1 to 10. Let's look through it and see the power and the blessings on obedience. Blessed, praise the Lord, blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that greatly delights himself in his commandment. He said, his seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. What? Wealth and riches shall be in his house. And the church shall endure forevermore. Verse 4. Unto the upright there arises light in darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man showeth favor and lend that he will guide his affairs with discretion. Verse 6, surely he shall not be moved forever. Obedience guarantees your destiny. It establishes your destiny. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. That you are buried does not mean you are dead. Your life keeps speaking and touching lives. Now, he shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart, what? He speaks, trusting in the Lord. Now, he, his heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he sees his desire upon, the, upon his enemies. And verse 9, he has dispersed, he has given to the poor, his righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The wicked shall see it and gnash with his teeth. And met away. The desire of the wicked concerning this man shall perish. I don't care who is planning against your life. As long as you keep your partnership with God intact, their desire shall perish. Amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Their desire shall perish. 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 Amen. Well, the good news is your year is finally here. Amen. All we need is take covenant responsibility so as to take full delivery of God's package for us as individuals this year. You shall not miss your portion. You shall not miss your portion. Obedience is what adds real values to redemption. And disobedience erodes redemptive values. He said because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected you from being king. So every time you reject instruction, you become a victim of rejection. Now listen to me. The year is loaded in your favor. Can, can I hear you say with me? This year is loaded in my favor. And I must ensure the year delivers. I must ensure the year delivers. He said, if you allow the Lord to guide you, only goodness and mercy shall be following you. If you are following his leading as your shepherd, if you allow his word to determine your steps in life, mm, he will prepare a table for you in the of your, your enemies and your cup will be running over. Ah. He will render your enemies helpless, walking in the light. Eh? guarantees automatic dominion over darkness. Like I once said, the dominion of light over darkness is instant and unquestionable. Every time you are walking in the world, you are walking in the light. And every time you are walking in the light, you are rendering the powers of darkness helpless. You are rendering the powers of darkness helpless. You are rendering the powers of darkness helpless. Now, and let me say this. The devil hates me a hundred times more than he hates you. Why? I'm causing him more headache. 
and you are causing him. Why has he been helpless? By grace, I'm privileged to be walking in the light. And so darkness is rendered helpless. Darkness is rendered helpless. Darkness is rendered helpless. Some fellows gathered one time at the old church on a mission to kill this man. I mean, on a mission to kill this man who never knew nothing. And we close from office at 2 a.m. in the morning, 2 30 in the morning. One by one, God dealt with them on his own without talking to me about it. One by one, they lost their places. One by one, they lost their places. One of them ended up in prison. Who now told the story of what they did? The man that charged the meeting lost his two sons at a time. One died at 42, two days after the other one, 40 years old, died. And himself had an accident. And I never knew. I even supported financially to get him out of the trouble. So his generation perished. The wicked shall see it and gnash with their teeth. Man that stood to sponsor it, we bought his property without knowing. Yes. Because he was selling everything he had until he ended up in prison. Listen to me. It is the enemy is not your problem. The absence of light is your problem. And in the name of Jesus, the year 2017 will render all your enemies totally helpless. Whatever they have robbed you of will be paid back seven times. Whatever the enemy has robbed your life of shall be restored sevenfold. Somebody believe that. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Amen. So our making in the kingdom is in following his instructions. Our making is in following his instructions. Following his instructions is the platform for our making. Remember I said earlier on, take fast hold of instructions. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Proverbs 4, 13. Keep her, for she is thy life. Following his instructions is the mystery behind the making of every believer. Following his instructions is the mystery behind the making of every believer. For instance, forsake not the assembly together of one another, as some of you do, much more so as you see the day approaching. Hebrews 10, 25. Why? In fellowship is where your provisions are reserved. The Lord has chosen Zion. He has prepared it for his habitation. He has desired for his habitation. This is my rest forever, and here will I dwell. I will abundantly bless her provision. Zion is the church of Christ. In prophecy, ye are come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God, the church of the firstborn that are written in heaven. Yes. Hebrews 12, 22, 24. I will abundantly bless her provisions and satisfy her poor with bread. I will also clothe her priests with salvation and her saints shall shout aloud for joy. Remember, they also go from strength to strength. Every one of them that is addicted to fellowship. They go from where? You don't know how weak you are until you disconnect from fellowship. Before you know what is happening with your eyes open, you're already on alcohol. You have graduated from alcohol to marijuana. Before you know what is happening, you, you go from weakness to weakness until you are down and out. They go from strength to strength. Hebrews, I mean, Psalm 84 verse 7. And what more? Zion is the platform for the making of giants. Zion is what? One of the scientific giants in history by the name Michael Faraday was a church addict. Every time he got to a city, the first thing is, where is the church here? He was a preacher. 
and yet named the man of science of that century. Zion is the platform for the making or the rise of giants. John D. Rockefeller was a church warden. He was church warden three times. Giants, this and Savior shall arise from Zion, who shall judge the of Israel, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's glory. Amen. Amen. Get excited. Yes, your being in church is not to add to the number, it's to add value to your life. Yeah. It's to add what? Value to your life. It's to add value. Man, I got saved in 1969. You can count on these two hands how many times I was not in church. Where would I be and doing what? No, I'm smart enough not to travel on Sundays. I'm smart enough not to travel on Sundays. Sometimes you see me on Sunday morning here. Yeah, I arrived in the night or early in the morning of Sunday, oh, Sunday to be in church. I've been doing that, I said, for 47 years running. I have been a church addict. And I'm glad today I cannot be mistaken for a mediocre. I cannot be mistaken for a mediocre. There are many giants in this church today that are Zion raised giants. There are simple instructions. You know, I don't care what role you play. Your counterparts who are of the other faith, they pray five times a day. What are you talking about? Blowing grammar that has no meaning. Who are you? What, what are you worth? Where are you standing? That you just walk out on God and now I'm busy. I'm, I have a lot of things to do. A lot of what? Now, watch it. These church addicts that look like they don't have any job to do, the giants in them will start rising. Yeah. All those who are mocking us as people don't have what to do, uh, they have gone into hiding. They have gone into hiding. There are names and there are names. Names will begin to rise here. Yeah. There are a number of great people that don't have any great name. A great man is not from a great name. Amen. I will make thee great. I will, I will bless you and make thy name great. It is God who makes names. It is God who makes names. Some have read the end of their career, but their influence is not beyond their street. Their influence is not beyond their street. Please, 2017 is here. Be listed among the church addicts. Yeah. I know what's in it, what is in it. I have seen a bit of it in my life, and I know it works. I know it works. No doctor can operate on you in your bedroom. Hello? Can any surgeon operate on you in your bedroom? You go to the theater. Yes. A lot of your issues need theatrical attention. <laughs> but you are hanging around in your house and blowing empty grammar in your sitting room. <laughs> there are people that zona centers are in their houses, they don't attend. They don't attend. There are people with self meetings in their houses, they don't attend. Excuse me, when you finish, please make sure you lock the door. I'm going out. <laughs> Obedience, come and say obedience. obedience. Is key to noiseless breakthroughs. Is the master key to noiseless breakthroughs. Is the master key to noiseless breakthroughs. I've not had a damn time once in 36 years that I sat and said, okay, please don't worry, things are going to work. Not once. Beginning from this year, no more damn times in your life. You believe it? Let me hear your loudest amen. Fellowship is vital to your future. Fellowship is vital to your posterity. Fellowship is vital to the life of your children's children. It's important to get involved. We have also heard that covenant practice is the only platform that guarantees access to financial fortune. 
But thou shalt remember the Lord your God, for it is He that giveth thee power to get wealth. So that he may establish his covenant, which is sworn to thy fathers as till this day. Grace to engage with covenant practice as a lifestyle. Receive it today. Because money is failing very fast. But covenant practice will always put you on top. 2 Corinthians 9, 6. The Bible says, But this I say, he that sweats sparingly shall also live sparingly. You sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. So everyone as he purposes in his heart. So let him give. Not grudgingly, nor of necessity. Because God is not a need. For God loves a cheerful giver. And in return, God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that you have in all sufficiency in all things. May abound unto every good word. Sufficiency. In return. In return. In return. That's why while others are drying up, you shall be flourishing. While others are living with hunger, you'll be distributing food. Yeah. While others are begging on the streets, you'll be giving out. Yeah. Because of your raw obedience to the demands of the covenant. We have also discovered, according to scriptures, blessed are the meek. For what? They shall inherit the earth. Endless enlargement. But it only belongs to the meek. Blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. The ornament of a quiet and meek spirit which in the sight of God is of a great price. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. So, it takes humility to enjoy enlargement. It takes humility to qualify for enlargement. You must obey the law of meekness if you must experience enlargement. Or a robot's mother told him, he said, Aura, stay small in your own eyes. Do what? Come on, let me hear you say it. The smaller you are in your own eyes, the greater your destiny becomes. Stay small in your own eyes. Stay small in your own eyes. God is taking you somewhere. Man. You are not near the place at all. I'm not near the place at all. God has a plan to put you and me on top of the entire world. He said, I will set you on high above all nations. Above all nations. But meekness remains a requirement for anyone to be listed among them. Stay small in your own eyes. Yes, you have seen grace, but greater grace is still ahead. Amen. You have seen grace, but amazing grace is still ahead. Amen. Yes, God is blessing you, but greater blessings still ahead, lie ahead. Before honor is humility. Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that in due time he may exalt you you must humble yourself before you are qualified to be exalted. First Peter 5, 6, you must humble yourself first before you are qualified to be exalted. Amen. May every spirit of pride yes. that is out of tide and any destiny be broken this morning in the name of Jesus. He said, take us the foxes, the small small foxes, because they spoil the vine. Songs of Solomon chapter 2 verse 15. These small, small things can defy great destinies. Therefore, subscribe to them and you see great things coming in your way. Praise God. 
serving God and the interests of his kingdom is a most rewarding endeavor. Get involved. Now, we discover that effective prayer ministry guarantees open rewards. Prayer is essentially a secret ministry. Come and say secret ministry. Prayer is a secret ministry that guarantees open reward. When thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut the door, pray to your father which is in secret. And thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Oh, what an opportunity to engage the prayer altar in the secrecy of your house, the secrecy of your life, to become a praying house. And what will be the result? Open rewards. Come and say open rewards. Say it loud, open rewards. The loudest you can, open rewards. Say it confidently. Well, God spoke to me, this church, shall emerge as a house of prayer indeed across the nations of the earth in the year 2017. Amen. That means members of this church shall become praying houses. Amen. We are God's buildings. We are God's tabernacles. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Every member shall become a praying house. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And there shall be strange order of open rewards. Amen. Come and say strange order. Strange order. Say it loud, strange order. So you don't have to wait for prayer announcement in church. It just becomes your personal responsibility in pushing the kingdom of God. Can I hear your amen? amen. In praying for the needs of members. In praying for challenged individuals to be restored. Prayer will become your way of life. You will, I mean, I, I wrote in that prayer outline or in that vision for 2017 that members of this church will have their own specific hours of prayers, individualists, on their own, without anybody pushing them to, and engaging accordingly. And watch the result. There is coming a great prayer revival in this church. The effect will be visible and touchable everywhere. Remember, prayer does not only change things, prayer essentially changes people. Your level will be changing dramatically this year. Let me hear your loudest, amen. You believe it, let me hear your loudest, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, Following Christ at all costs is gateway to a world of noiseless breakthroughs. Following Christ at all costs. Again, like I said, obedience may be costly, but the end result is priceless. Let's see the blessings of obedience in one minute together. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1 to 13. And as I read verse 1, you read 2, and then we exchange like that, and we close in verse 13, and then we shut down. Now, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Verse 2 together. Oh, how many? Oh. All these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Now verse 3, blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Now four together. Amen. Now, blessed shall be my basket and my store. Personalize it now, verse 6. Blessed shall be when I and blessed shall I be when I go out. Now, 
the Lord shall cause my enemies that rise up against me to be smitten before my face. They shall come out against me one way and shall flee before me seven ways. Okay? The Lord shall command his blessings upon me in my storehouse and in all that I set my hand unto and he shall bless me in the land with the Lord my God has given me. Now, verse 9. The Lord shall establish me an holy person unto himself as he has sworn unto me. If I keep the commandments of the Lord my God and walk in his ways. Now, verse 10. And all the people of the earth shall see that I am called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of me. Now, verse 11, and the Lord shall make me plenteous in good, in the fruit of my body, in the fruit of my cattle, and the fruit of my ground, in the land which the Lord swear unto my fathers to give me. Now, verse 12, the Lord shall open unto me his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto my land in his season, and to bless all the work of my hand, and I shall lend to many nations, and I shall not borrow. Now let's do 13 together, everybody. And the Lord shall make me the hair and not the tail. I shall be above only and I shall not be beneath. If I hearken unto the commandments of the Lord my God, which, as, which I, he commands me this day to observe and to do them. I don't know what else anybody is looking for. That is, those are all the fruits of obedience. What are they? Those are all the fruits of obedience. And the order is the opposite. From 14 to 66, you will not be a partaker of them. Everything is struggle. Everything is sweating. You will not be a partaker of that. That's how powerful obedience is. Now, let me say this as I close. There is no commandment of scriptures that is for anybody's ex benefit but you. There is no commandment of scriptures that is for God's benefit. There is no commandment of scripture that is for the benefit of the church. Every commandment of scriptures is for the benefit of the individual believer. Every commandment. Every commandment. When I give my tithe, he opens the heavens over me. Amen. Not over the church. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Not over the one who taught me. He opens the heavens over my life. When I serve him, he takes sickness from my body. When I give to the poor, he strengthens me on the bed of languishing. He will not deliver me to the will of my enemies. Everything he tells me to do, it is for my sake. Therefore, in the year 2017, no one will toy with divine instruction. Every personal encounter from the world, you will embrace it with all your heart. As you study, as you pray, and God gives you any instruction, grace to run with it, receive it right now. As we close, please understand, noiseless breakthrough will always answer to your raw obedience. Noiseless breakthrough will always answer to your raw obedience. If the studio has it, please play the clip of that new house in estate that's coming in just two minutes before we shut down. That is God turning a forest to a city. Men and brethren, we've never had power outage in Canaan since 1999. Come on, give the Lord praise. Now, this is only phase one. We have several other developers coming in. A city is imagined in the forest. Can I hear your amen? A city is imagined in the forest. For all categories of people, one bedroom apartment, two bedroom apartment, three bedroom apartment, dignified environment. Oh, in a moment. We are the pianists of the bridge. Yes, yes. We are restorers of path to walking. We are entitled to live a dignified life. I can tell you this, you are saying it today, tomorrow you are developing another. That's the way it works. So get 
excited about obedience. When God said this is a place, nothing like it, look, nothing looked like it here. Everything was negative. Everything was negative. But I heard God say, this is the place. Sir, if none of you came, I will come. I know obedience will always secure a future. I know obedience will always secure a future. It's a new day for you. 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 Grace to walk in delight, some obedience to every of God's instructions to you. Receive it now. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Please stand to your feet, everybody. Stand to your feet, lift up your two hands to heaven. Give God thanks for this opportunity. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. October 1, 1983, God said to me, I am committed to leading you if you are committed to following me. So, another covenant. Are you committed to following? That is the only time we are committed to leading you. Are you committed to following him? That is the only time he will be committed to leading you. If you are not committed to following him, he won't waste his time trying to lead you. Are you committed to following him? Then you are kind to be led by him. You will never miss your steps again. You will never misinvest your energy and resources again. You will never take a step of regret again. In the name of Jesus. Another year is here, and we are now going into our second personal expectation prayer session. I know you have issues you want to deal with for the year 2017. There are things around your life that needs divine intervention for a way forward. Again, we are before the Lord. Elijah was a man. It doesn't take a group to win the war. Elijah was a man. Jacob was left alone. Jabez prayed alone. Hannah prayed alone. Abba, you must get something. Amen. You are getting something in this session. Amen. Are you sure of that? Yes, sir. Pick up your expectation prayer point. You may sit, you may walk, you may kneel, but be engaging. Be engaging. He that asketh, receive it. Be engaging. Go ahead before the Lord right now and pray your way through into the heart of God. Pray your answers down practically. Don't let this time be wasted. It is your issue. These are your matters. You are responsible. Come and take responsibility right now. Take responsibility right now. Take responsibility right now. Take responsibility right now. You are responsible. I'm responsible for the outcome of this year in my life. I am responsible for what becomes of this year in my life. Go before the Lord, God's people. Pray your heart out. position that will enhance your prayers. No silent prayer.
Don't let no devil steal, rob you of this opportunity. opportunity for a change of story. This is your opportunity for a change of story. This is your opportunity for a change of story. Something is turning in your favor. Something is turning in your favor.
your voice and believe that God has heard you. Stand to your feet, everybody. Lift up your two hands to heaven and give him thanks for answers to your prayers. Every genuine question is entitled to an answer from the Lord. Come and give God thanks for it. Give God thanks for answer to your prayers. Give God thanks for answer to your prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. May every issue you have raised with God in this personal expectation prayer time return as testimonies. The year 2017 will be to you a year of endless surprises. Like a dream of the night, everything called an issue today is turned to a testimony. And so shall it be. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name. Come on now, let's praise him together. I'd like you to praise him like someone who believes that your prayers have been answered. Somebody who can see a great year already in place. Can I hear your amen? amen. Now let's go. This kind God, oh, I never see your type, oh. This kind God, oh, blessed be your holy name. I say this kind God, oh. This kind God, oh. I never see your type, oh. I never see your type, oh. oh this kind, this kind God, oh. This kind God, oh. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. I say this kind God, this kind God, this kind God. God. I never, never see your type. Oh. I never see your type. Oh. This kind, this kind, God. Oh. This kind, God. Oh. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. This kind, God. This kind, God. This kind, God. This kind, God. I never, never see your type. Oh. I never see your type. Oh. Oh. This kind, this kind, God. Oh. This kind, God. Oh. Blessed be your holy name. 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 Blessed be your I never see your type, oh. I never see your type, oh. oh. This kind, this kind, God, do. Oh. This kind, God, do. Oh. Let's uh, be your holy name. Let's be your holy name. This kind, God, this kind, God, this kind, God. This kind, God. I never, never see your type. I never see your type, oh. This kind, this kind, God, do. Oh. This kind, God, do. Oh. Let's uh, be. Let's uh, be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. You took my money me to dance. You took my shame and gave me favor. My business into a ministry. Blessed be your holy name. I said this I got. This I got. I never see your type. I never see your type. This I got. Blessed be your holy name.
For the encounters is granted you tonight since this crossover night began. And now you are right in the center of 2017. Give him thanks for it. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. We are going to pray one prayer before I just come down from here. And that is this. Lord, grace to make my spiritual life number one to make my spiritual life a priority. That's where the key is. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. To be carnally minded is death. Grace to make my spiritual life my priority in life. Come on, take it right now. Everybody take it. Take it. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first. Grace to make my spiritual life my priority for living I receive it now come and take it take it from him 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 that is the beginning of your journey to a world of noiseless breakthrough making your spiritual life your priority for living 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 Jesus precious name we are praying you know what he said if anyone come after me let him hate his father his mother, his wife, his children even himself that means let him love me above every other thing and when that happens eyes have not seen, ears have not heard it has entered the heart of any man what God has in store for you the year 2017 must mark the end of your struggles. As you make your spiritual life a priority, everything will start falling into place. So shall it be. Give the Lord a big hand and get seated, please. My case is different. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. In a short while, we're rising our feet to pray for our different countries. 
I will say, Father, visit this nature with supernatural turnarounds, resulting in all round advancement. In Psalms 1 to 2, verse 6, the word says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Without understanding, please rise in your faith and let's say, Father, visit this nation with supernatural turnarounds, resulting in all round advancement. Lift up your voice and pray. Wherever you are, pray for your country, pray for your nation of abode right now. Let's lift up our voice and pray for our country. You are here in Nigeria, you are praying for Nigeria. You are in US, you are praying for US. You are in England, you are praying for Great Britain. Lift up your voice, pray and say, Father, visit this nation with supernatural turnarounds, resulting in all around advancement. Lift up your voice if you love your country. Pray, lift up your voice to visit, to visit the nation where you are with supernatural turnarounds that will result in all around advancement. Let lift up our voice and pray for the peace of Nigeria. Let's ask God, the God of this great commission, to visit this nation called Nigeria with supernatural turnaround this year that will terminate every form of retrogression, every form of resistance session we are right now. Let this year be a year of supernatural turnaround in the name of the Lord Jesus by the visitation of the mighty God that will result in all around turnaround, all around advancement in the name of Jesus in every aspect of this nation. Let there will be turnaround in the educational aspect. There will be turnaround. God will visit us in concerning the industries. God will visit us in new industries. will be springing up Unemployment will be a thing of the past by the visitation of the mighty God supernaturally. Lift up your voice in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's ask the great God of this commission that has worked for this commission for 36 years. No turn, no, no dry season, no setback, no retrogression. Let's add that same God to visit Nigeria this hour. That this year, 2017, will be our year of supernatural turnaround that will result in all round advancement. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we are lifting up our voice to you this morning, on this fourth day of this year, 2017, asking you, oh great God of this commission, to visit Nigeria with supernatural turnaround that will result in all round advancement. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the, in the politics, let there be advancement. In industry, let there be advancement. In education, let there be advancement. Oh God of heaven, we are lifting up our voice. Visit Nigeria. Visit Nigeria. Visit Nigeria with supernatural turnaround in the name of Jesus. The kind that we have never witnessed before. The kind that will make our case as a nation to be different this year positively. Oh God, visit us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are lifting up our voice. Somebody is praying for divine visitation in the name of Jesus that will terminate recession in a new way in the name of Jesus Christ our father we are lifting up our voice to you this morning to visit this country with supernatural turnaround visit the north visit the east visit the west visit the south all around oh God visit us visit us with your mighty power in the name of Jesus Christ we are lifting up our voice we desire your visit let this year 2017 be our year of supernatural turnaround by your mighty visitation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can do well praying the Holy Ghost for the few seconds remaining. Lift up your voice and pray the Holy Ghost for that divine visitation in that country where you are. That this year, by the mighty visitation of the God of heaven, there will be so.
supernatural turnaround that will result in all round advancement. Le katosia, eria katalaba, makompa katozozo, riaga yaga yaga desa, eria katalaba, manta kutupu yeke, zekete, eriaka, kataka pa katopozia, ria katalaba, mantutaria leketeza, eketeke, le yagada, makanto zoria, ria katalaba yagade, lekete ketezia, ria katupu kutuzia, le kataka, begin to appreciate him. Give him thanks, give him praise. He has had all this money. There will be supernatural turnaround that will result in all round advancement. Thank you, gracious Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Please have your seat. My case is different. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We'll be rising up again to pray in this wise, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, usher this commission into greater realms of exploits this year. Can I hear your amen to that? Far beyond what we have ever known in fulfillment of the prophetic verdict of this year. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9. But as it is written, I had not seen ear had not heard it has never entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for the winner's family in the year 2017 rise on your feet where you are as we lift up our voices right now in prayers father in the name of Jesus usher this great commission into greater realms of exploits yes you have given us exploits in the past we are asking for greater realms of exploits far beyond what we have ever known in fulfillment of the prophetic verdict of the year 2017. Lift up your voices. Everyone is praying at this moment as the commission is moving forward. You are also moving forward as the commission is moving to higher realms of greater glory. You are also moving to greater realms of glory. Lift your voice. Don't be weary. Don't be tired. The God that answered prayers is right here in our midst. We are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, usher this commission into greater realms of exploits this year, far beyond what we have ever known the past 36 years. Lift your voices, let heaven hear your voice of intercession this early morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, usher this commission into greater realms of exploits in the year 2017, far beyond what we have ever known. He said, I have not seen, he had not heard, it has never entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for the winner's family. It means we have never seen it. He's about to do it. He's about to lift us to greater realms of exploits in the year 2017. Lift your voices. Make sure heaven is hearing your voice of intercession. This is not time to be weary. This is not time to be sleepy. This is time to pray. Let him hear your voice. Father, in the name of Jesus, usher this commission into greater realms of exploits this year, far beyond what we have ever known. Oh, my Father, usher this commission into greater realms of exploits this year, as God has already unveiled to us what to do and imparted on us the spirit of obedience. Father, usher us as a commission into greater realms of exploits in every department of this commission, in every area of this commission, through every office of this commission, far beyond what we have never known in fulfillment of the prophetic verdict. Lord, you have already declared it. You are able to do it. And so we are asking you, your word says we have not because we ask not. Now we are asking, oh my father, in that name that never fails, in the name of Jesus, usher this commission, the winner's family, into greater realms of exploits this year, far beyond what we have ever known.
fulfilled in fulfillment of the prophetic verdict. Make sure heaven is hearing your voice. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost, do so right now. Because he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh mysteries unto the Lord. Yes, far beyond what we have ever known. In your hand is the times and the seasons. Arete kotari e bradeskulari adosha ya brade yesuze e pakara di edosia ye brade kutalia e kutagradi edosia e brande tosia e rich kadia losia e parade e parade e parade e kutagara ya brade resketelia pray in the Holy Ghost right now and we are asking the Lord to usher this commission into greater realms of exploits. Make sure the Lord is hearing your voice far beyond what we have ever known since inception. Don't get weary. Don't get tired. He's hearing our prayers. He's hearing our intercession. His ears are open. We do not pray to a prayer storing God. We are praying to a prayer answering God. He said unto you that hear a prayer shall all flesh come. We have come tonight and early this morning because he's here to answer our prayers. Don't forget he said seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added. That's why we are lifting up this great commission before the ears of the Lord to launch us into greater realms of exploits far beyond what we have ever known in fulfillment of the prophetic verdict of the year 2017. It's from the depth of our hearts, from the depth of our souls. We are crying out to you, O Lord, that you usher this commission into greater realms of exploits this year. Far beyond what we have ever known in fulfillment of the prophetic verdict of the year 2017 in the name of Jesus lift up your hands and let's appreciate the Lord he has heard us this morning father thank you in Jesus mighty name please be seated My case is different, let the redeemer of the Lord say. In a moment, we shall be rising on our feet and we shall be praying. We are saying, Father, we decree that the oil upon your servant remains ever fresh and let him continue to experience ever increasing anointing all through this year. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. amen. Psalm chapter 92 and verse 10. He said, and my horn shall thou exalt as the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Somebody who will be a beneficial, beneficiary of that anointing, rise up on your feet with me and lift up your voice unto heaven this morning. Father, we decree that the oil upon your servant remains ever fresh, ever fresh, and let him continue to experience ever increasing anointing all through this year. Are you lifting up your voice to pray? Little banake to pray no panate zezia. We call upon you, Lord, this morning. We are asking, oh Lord, that the oil upon your servant remains ever fresh. Let him continue to experience ever increasing anointing all through this year. Let there be a freshness of the anointing. Lift up your voice. Remember praying for his servant is praying for yourself. Are you praying? Lift up your voice across the nations of the earth and begin to cry out to the Lord this morning. Our Father, we decree that the oil upon your servant remains
is ever fresh. Reko panembre de ketosusie, le kopandre di katala, le robendre di katalo, shambaradia, ale ponte libana, our father, we decree that the oil upon your servant remains ever fresh. Liko te prodie keredia, antosusie mberia manata, we decree there shall be no stillness, araba dia kata, every day there shall be newness of oil. In According to your word, you have declared and decreed that it shall be anointed with fresh oil. Are you praying this morning? Lift up your voice. Let God hear the voice of your intercession. Let there be freshness. Agatano, Are you praying? This is not the time to keep silent, lift up your voice and cry unto the Lord. Your word said, I found David, my servant, and with my holy oil have I anointed him. Our Father, we call upon you this morning. We are asking, oh God, that by your own hand, you anoint your servant afresh every single day. Let the oil be fresh. We decree, oh Lord, that the oil shall remain fresh there shall be no stillness abanadia garado ilian garado susia renew the anointing upon his life renew the anointing upon his life liro shepredia galadia keep the oil ever fresh are you praying this morning lift up your voice rabanatia kata elo shekeno patane le kataria rabanto susia agatabia rande riabala we call upon you asking oh god for the refreshing of the anointing. Lirosus Yangara, Elere Beniagalano Susia, keep it fresh all through this year. And Tele Kerumba Nadia, Alakendo Susia, Ambrenia Ketosia, Arabante Likata, Abarabanadia. Let the oil, oh God, be fresh all through this year. Are you praying? Lift up your voice. Reco Susia Kata, your word said, oh Lord, there is the availability of fresh oil. Therefore, we call upon you for freshness of the anointing upon your servant. And beyond that, oh God, let there be ever increasing anointing all through the year. Ever increasing anointing all through the year. The anointing of today increasing tomorrow. The anointing of this week increasing next week. The anointing of this month increasing next month. Let the oil be overflowing. Recopande recesusia and bereco tembanania. Are you praying? Lift up your voice. Rabacando susia. Let the oil be ever increasing in cosupetenia all through the year, week after week, month after month, quarter after quarter, agenda after agenda. Let the oil of God be on the on ever increasing all through this year in the name of Jesus. Lero Benekita, Antelian Garado Shaba, Enkledi Kento Sukia, Amprene Keton Baradia. You can push the prayer in the Holy Ghost. Pray your heart out this morning. Arabano Ketosusia, Akanteleto, Imbranianga, Abrado Sha, fresh and ever increasing, anointing all through the year. A Lero Benderike Tonanda, Tonanda Garade, Lembrone Ketosusia, Ankele. Brenian Catano, Lo Berem Brodi Catelia, Arabanto Zuzia, Elekete Prea, and Koshaba, Imbraniaka, across the nations of the earth. Push the prayer as you pray in the Holy Ghost. Leketembra de Ketona Manacalo, Limbra Neke Zuziabala, Abandaro, Jabata, Ecombana, Recosia, Ecombara, Lecotembra de Agada, La Casuzia, Embranosa, Ever increasing anointing all through the year. Alarobada, Ikomanata, Elereketona, Lebron de Reketo Susia, Elembre Neketo Sha, Aram Bianga Tale, Recosa Pinia, day after day increasing, week after week increasing, month after month increasing, quarter after quarter increasing, agenda after agenda, ever 
Christian Christian anointing. Lero Shabada. Lift up your hand to heaven and give God the glory. Father, we give you thanks. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody believe, say the loudest, amen. Let us praise him and give him the glory. You are worthy of my praise. You are the most high. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Worthy of my praise.
Shall we lift up our two hands to heaven again tonight? Because without any doubt, something has taken place in your life. Give God thanks for it. If that is the case, give God thanks for it. Give God thanks for it. Give God thanks for it. Jesus, in Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. God is about to mark you out today. This mark will separate you all through this year from all evils. And as they went from one kingdom to another, and from one nation to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. By the anointing of this early morning, which is our New Year special anointing, the verdict for the year will fully deliver in your life. My son came from Portacot and we saw the video there. 24 cars burned to ashes, two human lives lost, two filling stations burned, houses burned, and only that car was left. As the law liveth, no matter the heat on this earth, there shall be no rise in temperature in your life. He said, my car has this sticker on it. It was left by the hand of God. Fire doesn't know anybody's name. It has no respect for anybody's profession. But the God of exemption, the God of this commission exempted him. In the same way, a thousand businesses may fall on your side may fall at the right side, but none of yours shall fall. For the commandment is, come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 6. The mark of come not near to every agent of the devil, to every manipulation of Satan, is coming upon your life this morning. And as the Lord liveth, you are going through 2014 like a dream of the night. Psalm 126 will become your living song every passing day of this year. For when the Lord turned again the capital of the Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Come and say, that's me. That's say it convincingly. Say it violently. That's what God did through that testimony is to validate the encounters of Shiloh 2016. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, both you, your children, your spouse, your grandchildren, everybody will be marked out for exemption this morning. And your testimonies will come forth to the glory of God. Praise God. Get seated, give the Lord a big hand of praise. Now let's listen to the order of our covenant exchange for 2017. Now, 
The caller will say, my case is different. The respondent will say, and so is mine. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then he will continue, because I am redeemed of the Lord, and as a covenant child, what affects others is not permitted to affect me. And then the caller will respond, congratulations. And then there's a close up. Amen. Now, I know you are very smart people. This is one of the most intelligent community of people in the world. Now, I'm now the caller. Whether on the phone or in exchanging greetings as to visit one another, that is the order of the day. Because you shall have whatsoever you say. You shall have whatsoever you say. You shall have whatsoever you say. Now, my case is different. You say, and so is mine. Then you now continue, because I am redeemed of the Lord, and as a covenant child, what affects others is not permitted to affect me. Come on, can you say that now? Because I'm redeemed of the Lord, and as a covenant child, what affects others is not permitted to affect me. Then I'll say to you, congratulations. Then you can continue with your discussion. Is that okay? How many are enjoying this prophetic season? Amen. Now you say to me, and so is mine. And because I'm redeemed of the Lord, and as a covenant child, what affects others is not permitted to affect me. And what do you say? What do you say in return? Okay, can you face each other now, wherever you are, and exchange these greetings? Let one be a caller, one a respondent. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, what I saw is that all of you are saying it together. Praise God. Now, my case is different, everybody. Because I'm redeemed of the Lord, and as a covenant child, what affects others is not permitted to affect me. Congratulations. Amen. Is that okay? So instead of saying hello, somebody calls you, my case is different. You know whether it's a Gentile or a Jew. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. My case is different, everybody. Because I'm a covenant child. It's a covenant child. What affects others is not permitted to affect me. Congratulations. Can I hear your amen? Now, one more time, smart people, let's go. My case is different, and so is mine. Because, as a, because I'm redeemed of the law, and as a covenant child, what affects others is not permitted to we, we are going to write a test now. <laughs> Amen. Now, one more time, nobody makes mistakes. Yeah? Some pastors are making mistakes. Yeah? <laughs> And so is mine, you want an and to because. And so is mine, because I'm redeemed of the Lord, and as a child, what affects others is not permitted to affect me. Congratulations. Can I hear your amen? The caller will now say congratulations, and then you carry on with your discussion. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now let the choir only say this. My case is different. Congratulations. Amen. Some of you are just shaking your head. I don't think you are saying anything. <laughs> Praise God. How many are confident that 2017 would define their case as different? Are you confident? Give 
the Lord a shout of victory, everybody. <laughs> Commanding endless breakthroughs in hard times. It's very important that every demand of scriptures requires empowerment for delivery. Every demand of scriptures. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord God of hosts. Particularly obedience. Obedience will always demand the endowment of the spirit of obedience to sustain full-scale obedience in our work with God. We have tried to establish the fact that obedience is a very mighty spiritual weapon with capacity to win every battle. Because when our obedience is fulfilled, we will dislodge all disobedience or silence all oppositions. Why do we need the spirit of obedience? Some instructions may be far above our natural capacity to obey. Now get out of their country at 75. Get out of their country and then you start packing. There must be some help from above to respond without negotiation to embark on such a journey, a journey that has no destination into a land that I will show thee. So they will ask, where are you going? He said, I don't know. He said, they will show me as I go. Now, that demands some empowerment. Now, some also, some instruction will be too costly to bear naturally. Take thy son, thy only son, Isaac, and I will show you a mountain where you will sacrifice him to me as a burnt offering. Man, that's not easy. That's not easy. That's why we need the spirit of obedience for full scale obedience in our work with God. Why do we need the spirit of obedience? Some instructions may be too demanding to comply with. Circumcise thyself at 99, that's dangerous. Even Christ needed the power of the Spirit to walk in obedience. John 10, 17 to 18. I have power to lay it down. This early morning, you are going to be endued afresh with the Spirit of obedience. Jesus said, Hearing does my father love me because I lay down my life that I may take it again. No one took it from me. I have power to lay it down. There's, there's an element of power involved. That ultimate obedience required empowerment. Power to lay it down. Power to willingly subscribe to his commandments, no matter at what cost. They call it the spirit of obedience. Ezekiel 36 and verse 27. He said, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my status. You shall keep my judgments and do them. And do them. We had an outreach some years, many years back now. Maybe this year will make it 30 years in Abba, down in the east of Nigeria. And it was such an experience. But I couldn't understand how I was able to enjoy that negative situation. As we gather together at the ground, the people we hired the public administration from came and said they are not hiring us again. 
What's the matter? No matter. We had to join hands for me to preach and pray over them all in one sweep. That's to tell you how many people were there. We got to the hotel and I said, if anybody ever murmurs, this will be the last crusade you're going to have. But let's give God thanks that even some seven, eight, maybe 11 people were there. Amen. Amen. We celebrated God and the three-day meeting ended one day. Hallelujah. And I said to them, as we give him thanks, when next we come into this time, there'll be no place to sit. Mm. And so it came to him. Power to obey demands of scriptures at all times is your portion today. Amen. Now listen to me, as this becomes your new way of life, Noiseless breakthroughs becomes your testimony. Amen. You are not struggling with nothing. You are not struggling with anything. Because the power to align with the commandments of scriptures is at work in you. Can I hear your amen? Somebody's breaking forth this morning. That's why you and I need a fresh endowment of the spirit of obedience so we can go through this season of uncertainties with full assurance we, because we serve a covenant keeping God a covenant keeping God a covenant keeping God and that's what we, we are doing this early morning and I pray that each one will return from here a brand new vessel everybody needs the spirit of obedience furthermore we need spiritual empowerment for prompt obedience because delayed obedience is disobedience. We need the spirit of obedience for prompt obedience. You know, he said, an angel comes to and says, why? To trouble the water. And who's about four steps in? So it's not about stepping in, it's about stepping in on time. John chapter 5 verse 4, stepping in on time, stepping in on time, stepping in on time, stepping in on time. Delayed obedience can be costly. Stepping in on time. Stepping in on time. Receiving an instruction and engaging with it on time. The same day I caught Matthew 63, I entered into a covenant with it. The same day I caught Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, I entered into a covenant with it. Everyone that first steps in, it takes that anointing because the Spirit of God is a driving spirit. And the Spirit driving him into the wilderness. Mark chapter 1, verse 12. The Spirit driving, it's a driving force. So when you receive the spirit of obedience, it drives you for prompt obedience. Amen. Prompt obedience. Receive that now in the name of Jesus. Amen. God said he will build this tabernacle in one year. He said it on the 17th of September, Sunday, 1998. And we moved in here September 18, 1998. Following day. Following day. Following day, God delivered the mandate in May 1981, and in the same May, we started ministry. Same May, same May, sir. Not that we had a rumination before. Same May. Same month of May, May 24th, we started our weekly fellowship. Monday delivered May 2nd. Prompt obedience requires endowment with the spirit of obedience. Arise, get down to Lagos, same day. Come and say, same day. Same Somebody was dispatched to come to Lagos, same day. Same day, same day. He said, immediately I arose and I confirmed with flesh and blood. Yes. You need the spirit of obedience for prompt obedience. Somebody stay there. If the, blind, the man that was born blind went to Siloam the following day, he won't be here. Yes. He won't be here, sir. He'll be blinder. Same day. That's why we need the spirit of obedience. The spirit of obedience. Now, listen. Mandate to Africa was delivered May 4, 1994. It was dedicated May 8, 1994. 
office was open June 14, 1994. Prompt obedience. Shia garako takri kiano sasutabo. In the name of Jesus, be endued afresh with the spirit of obedience today. Yeah. Listen to me. It's time to get the aircraft. Same hour. Come on, say same hour. Same hour. Uh, no, same, same day. Same hour. Same hour. Same hour, Saturday, same hour. Not okay, we do that on Sunday. No, same hour. Same hour. Come on, say same hour. Same hour. You need the spirit of obedience for prompt obedience. For prompt obedience. Obedience is not obedience. Delayed obedience is disobedience. Delayed. Delayed obedience is disobedience. Somebody's breaking forth. We need the spirit of wisdom for selfless obedience. We need it for unreserved obedience. And I, I believe that's what you are receiving this morning. And David was anointed with, the, with oil in the midst of his brethren, and the spirit of the Lord came upon him from that day forward. The spirit of the Lord is a multifaceted spirit. Inside that we have the spirit of faith, we have the spirit of love, we have the spirit of obedience, it's all there, we have the spirit of meekness, multifaceted spirit. First Samuel chapter 16 verse 13, so as this oil comes on you, a new order of a life of obedience begins in your life. Can I hear your loudest amen? Prompt obedience, selfless obedience, Unreserved obedience, unnegotiated obedience, full scale obedience, Man. all of this require endowment with the spirit of obedience. And you are getting that this morning. You are getting that this morning. You are getting that this morning. Jesus said, The one that he that same is with me, he has not left me alone because I do always the things that please him. John 8 29, I do always. To obey always requires more than what you can handle. You need the spirit of obedience. And when you walk in the spirit of obedience, you enjoy divine presence, divine companionship, divine partnership. And that makes you an impossible individual to be defeated. The good news is this. Something new is breaking forth in your life today. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Very quickly as we round up, what is in obedience for us? Every act of obedience opens a new chapter to the believer. Many new chapters will be opened to your life this year. Amen. Arise, get out of their country, and then a new chapter was open. Take the only son, the only son, whom thou lovest, yeah, another chapter was open. What is said to him in Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 3, is different from what he said in Genesis chapter 22, verse 16 to 18. Amen. It's another chapter altogether. Every act of obedience opens a new chapter to a believer. Now, come on, say with me, in the year 2017, several new chapters shall be open to my life through my selfless obedience through my unreserved obedience through my full scale obedience to every commandment of the Lord several new chapters will be open to me this year say it loud several new chapters shall be open to me this year Several new chapters. Now, let me say this quickly. According to Revelation chapter 22, verse 1 to 3, every month is ordained to open a new chapter. Every month is ordained to open a new chapter. And in the midst of the street of it, and on the side of it, there was the tree of life, which bear twelve manner of fruit, and yielded a fruit. How? Every month. Every month, every month, 
we talk about new month, we talk about new chapter. Every month. Therefore, watch out. Watch out. Every month is to open a new chapter for you. Is somebody still there? Please, listen, listen, listen. Is somebody still there? Every month shall open a new chapter to your life this year. Let me hear your loudest amen. I said, every man shall open a new chapter to you this year. Every man shall open a new chapter to your family this year. Every man shall open a new chapter to your business and career this year. Every man shall open a new chapter to your spiritual life this year. Every act of obedience is passing a test which qualifies you for a change of class. After this test, God did test Abraham. And Abraham passed the test and he changed his class. Genesis 22 verse 1 to 3. God changed his class. What is in obedience for us? God will always manifest himself to the obedient. Whosoever has my commandment and keep it is the one that loves me. If he loves me, I will love him. My father will love him and I will manifest myself to him. You won't miss divine manifestations this year. God will be showing up at every stage of your life this year. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? Obedience of faith will quench all the fiery dart of the devil any day. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 6 And when your obedience is fulfilled, you will avenge all disobedience and having the readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. All disobedience to revenge all disobedience. Oh, how many of them? When your obedience is fulfilled, all disobedience must bow. All disobedience, all oppositions must bow. And it's about for taking the shield of faith and you quench all the fiery darts of the devil. That's how powerful obedience is. Now watch. Whatever has been an issue around your life, somebody's pursuing me, somebody's chasing me, you won't hear that again forever. You won't see that again forever. And finally, supernatural supplies always answers to our obedience. Supernatural supplies will always answer to your obedience. Supernatural supplies, any day, any time, any day, any time, any day, any time. Supernatural supplies is at the command of the our obedience, is at the command of our obedience. Make for me first, and food began to multiply, food began to multiply, food began to multiply. Cast your net on the right side, and then they couldn't carry the fish. Supernatural supplies will always answer to our obedience. We always answer to our obedience. Therefore, you will never suffer any more lack or want in your life. We had an experience many years ago. We had no baby food. It was not in town. There was scarce commodity on the street. And the Lord said to me, to sow every seed that we have, every money we have as seed. We did. And now, come on, listen. Somebody ran down to the house, bringing 24 cartons of baby food. How many? Saying that I had, there is no baby food in town. And the Lord told her to bring us 24 cartons of baby food. So adults can take it. Take it. 24 cat supernatural supplies will always answer to your obedience. Every prompting of the Spirit is to terminate your worries. Can I hear your amen? amen. Well, the good news is this. The year 2017, it will never be as before again in your life. Supernatural supplies will always answer to your obedience. Obedience, 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 obedience. That's the way it works. This morning, as this oil comes on your head, its main mission is to endure you 
primarily with the spirit of obedience. And secondly, every yoke of the enemy that may still remain on your life will be destroyed right now. Yeah. For surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, nor divination against Israel. Numbers 23, 23. Now, what that means is this. Every satanic attack on any area of your life, as this oil comes on your head, you see them no more again forever. Every marital spell shall be openly broken this morning. Every business and career spell, you see them no more again forever. Every spell of lack and want and begging and squatting and struggling will be destroyed in your life today. Now the prophetic is on and I want to listen. Everybody called barren that still remains barren will be confirmed pregnant this month. Because the yoke of barrenness shall be destroyed in your life today. This is the 1st of January 2017. By September 2017, as the Lord liveth, whom I serve and whose I am, you are bringing forth your miracle children. Everyone called solitary under any marital spell, your year has finally come. Therefore, whatever represents the finger of the enemy in your life, in your finances, whatever represents the finger of the enemy in the life of your children, as this oil comes on your head, you walk free from them forever. Now, all through this year, sickness and disease will not know your house. Every damaged part in your body, as this oil comes on your head, they are fully restored to perfection. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Now, the Lord said to me, on July 23rd, 1977, he said, behold, I've touched your tongue with a coal of fire. And from henceforth, as you say it, you see it. Every man called impotent, I decree your release right now. There are those under the sound of my voice that are under one kind of oppression of the enemy or, not, or the other. Struggling and fighting in your sleep. Waking out of your sleep, full sweat all over your body. Now, that battle is won right now. You believe it, let me hear your loudest amen. 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 amen. Every closed door to you by this anointing reopens now. Every closed door to your family, to your children, every closed door to your business, to your career, reopens right now today. And so shall it be. As for this commission, the Spirit of the Lord is saying to me, I'm taking you somewhere and you are not near there yet. Follow me closely. I'm taking you somewhere, but you are not near there yet. I still have surprise packages for you. And listen for this ministry. I still have surprise packages for you. But as long as you are on board this flight, whatever surprise packages God has reserved for this commission, your portion is in it. Can I pray this prayer over you? 
nobody doubts my source. I'm a privileged reflection of my source. I came off the loins of Egan's spiritual tree. It shows. I branch off from Copeland. It shows. I connect to the virtues of here at Deboye and it shows. This year, your connectivity here must show. Your connectivity here must show. Your connectivity here must show. I didn't have to pray to get a wife. Now in the name of Jesus, the struggle for marriage is over in your life today. We did not cry to have children. Your cry for children is over today. We did not struggle to raise children. Your struggle in raising children is over today. We did not have challenge children. Every challenge around your children's life is over today. I don't know the meaning of struggles. And I'm saying this before the Lord is a testimony of truth. Your struggles for survival, struggles for existence, struggles for advancement is declared over today. This commission has never known a better yesterday. By this anointing coming from this altar, you never record a better yesterday again. Now listen, you shall reap it in due season if you faint not. By this anointing, no more damn time in your spiritual life. No more damn time in your spiritual life. No more damn time in your spiritual life. There shall be no more damn time in your spiritual life. There shall be no more damn time in your spiritual life. There shall be no more damn time in your spiritual life. There shall be no more damn time in your spiritual life. There shall be no more damn time in your spiritual life. There shall be no more damn time in your spiritual life. So shall it be. In a moment, I would like you to pray your way into these prophetic declarations. Something has burst forth. The oil is coming on your head. What must this oil deliver in your life? Amen. Go ahead and pray. What must this oil deliver in your life? It is essentially the oil of obedience. But along with it are those prophetic declarations that you have heard. What must this oil deliver in your life? An end to my struggles. Come and pray. Pray from the depth of it. It happens only once in a year. This is a new year's anointing. What must this oil deliver in your life? Radekereketosia. What must this oil deliver in your life? Come and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray like you mean it. Pray because you mean it. My marital struggles are over. My struggle for having children are over. My business and career struggles are over. By this anointing, every yoke of the wicked on my life is destroyed. Come on, pray. Pray right now. Take it by force.
afresh today with the spirit of obedience, for prompt obedience, for unreserved obedience, for selfless obedience. And you may afresh today through this New Year special anointing for prompt obedience, for all reserved obedience, for selfless obedience, I receive it of you. Father, let new chapter be open to me every month of this year month of this year, open new chapters to all leaders of my life. Every month of this year, let new chapters be open to my life. Let every closed door be open, be reopened today by this anointing. Let every closed door be reopened to me today by this anointing. precious name we have prayed. God never leaves himself without a witness. There shall be diverse instant miracles now. Certain things mistakenly cross over to this year with you. They must drop. Negative thing that ever crossed into 2017 with you must drop this morning. Because you have entered your year of my case is different. You have been redeemed from the cause of the law to enjoy the blessings of Abraham. Therefore, what affects others is not permitted to affect you. The same way God separated and distinguished out my son Pater from having his car bond, whatever is affecting people on the other side of the world that is affecting you now must drop off your life. Yeah. Somebody believe that, let me hear your loudest, amen. Yeah. Now, one of us in U.S. ministered the one-hour mystery to her daughter, and she walked for the first time in six years. For the first time in six years. Listen to this. God told me to administer this New Year special anointing. God told me there will be somebody in this service around the world today for whose reason God said so. Now, every terminal disease will drop off your body now. Every pain in your body will disappear now. growth in any part of your body will disappear now. This morning, S S again will be turned to A. This morning, cancer shall be destroyed from its root. This morning, HIV AIDS will disappear. Whatever is called incurable will be turned to a testimony now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, take up the bottles of your anointing oil all over the world right now.
Thank you, Jesus. Lift all the bottles up. Father, in the name of Jesus, the content of this bottle, or these bottles, is hereby declared the holy anointing oil. And when David was anointed with oil, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him from that day forward. Now, this is declared a medium for the manifestation of the Spirit of the Lord. Today, in particular, through the medium of this oil, be endued afresh with the spirit of obedience. Power to subscribe to every commandment of the Lord is released upon your life through the mission of this oil. Furthermore, yet a little while and the indignation shall cease. Isaiah 10, 25. And my anger will rise to their destruction. For it shall come to pass in that day that the burden of the wicked shall be taken from your shoulder and the soul from your neck and you shall be destroyed because of the anointing. <laughs> Through the mystery of this anointing oil, God's anger will be steered against your adversary. <laughs> Every oppression of the devil around your life shall be brought to naught. Whatever you desire to drop, call it by name. Whatever must drop off your life, off your affairs, call it by name. Whatever represents the finger of the wicked, afflicting, tormenting, and buffeting you, call it by name. This is the day the Lord has made. Something is breaking for You are starting this year in true liberty and freedom. The battle is over. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take a little of this oil in your fingertips. And all that believe in the prophetic declarations of this moment, all that believe that by the touch of this oil you are in deal with the spirit of obedience, so you will enjoy obeying God. Obeying God will become a delight. Prompt obedience will become your lifestyle. All this of obedience will become your delight. You believe that, and you believe that every yoke shall be destroyed today without exemption. You believe that by the touch of this oil, the mark of come not near is upon your life. Place that on your forehead and begin to make your declarations. Begin to make your declarations. It is what you say that you will have. Begin to make your declarations. You shall have whatsoever you say. Begin to make your declarations. 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 Begin to make your declarations right now. The indignation against my life has ceased. God's anger is stirred up against my adversaries. The burden on my shoulder the yoke on my neck. They are destroyed finally today. Yes, I'm singing a new song. I'm endued today with the spirit of obedience, making obedience a delight for me the remaining days of my life. Come on now. Begin to make your declarations. Whatever you declare is what God will confirm. What you don't declare, God cannot confirm. What you don't declare, God cannot confirm. What you don't declare, God cannot confirm. 
New chapters are open to me every month of this year. New chapters in my spiritual life, in my ministry, in my business, in my career. New chapters in my health. New chapters. Come on now, begin to declare that. Jesus, precious name, we have prayed. This oil on your forehead is now a seal of exemption for you. All through this season of uncertainties, you shall be gloriously exempted. All through this season of meltdown, you shall be gloriously exempted. Through this season of famine, you shall be gloriously exempted. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are now endued with the spirit of obedience. From now, begin to command noiseless breakthroughs. Your obedience to his commandment will distinguish you every step of your life. In the name of Jesus. Every yoke of the wicked on your life is here by destroy. In Jesus' name. Now Jesus sent his disciples and they went forth healing everywhere. You will never live your life in sickness again. If there's anyone here that's challenging any part of his body, put your hand on it. And I'm going to pray this simple prayer. And the anointing on your head will flow down there and we set you free forever. How many believe he's going free this morning? How many believe that this new year is starting you in a new way? How many believe in his new order of health this morning? Come on, do that, what I said for you to do right now. In the name of Jesus, every part of your body that's been afflicted, as you place your hand on it right now, I command your instant healing and deliverance. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Your eyesight is healed. Partial deafness and total deafness is over. Yeah. That terminal disease of cancer, of kidney failure, of liver crisis, whatever it is that is called incurable, is declared cured this morning. Yeah. HIV is gone from your body. Yeah. Cancer is gone from your system. Yeah. Every growth, including goiter, drops off you right now. Jesus Christ, that heart palpitation ceases now. That back pain ceases now. That spinal challenge is over now. Now, get out of your wheelchair. Get out of that wheelchair. Throw away those crutches. This morning declared your money of liberty. Yeah. Weeping has started for a night. Joy has come this morning. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, that migraine is caused right now. That crisis in your neck is over right now. That stiff neck is loose right now. Fibro drops from your body right now. Infertility is over your life today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every form of hormonal imbalance is over in your life today. I decree your total liberty right now. That waist pain is gone forever. That deafness is over today. That blindness is over today. In the name of Jesus. Receive your sight in the name of Jesus. Receive your sight in the name of Jesus. That stammering is over today. That stammering is over this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. 
in Jesus precious name Amen. lift up those hands to heaven choir can we celebrate Jesus as we celebrate him everybody who has been touched so many have been touched this morning around the world just find your way to the altar area we celebrate God with you in one minute and we're closing this service come on close your bottles the bottles of your oil praise God this is the oil of noiseless breakthrough Amen. all through the year 2017 you shall be commanding noiseless breakthroughs yeah. noiseless breakthroughs in all areas of your life as we sing his praise after five minutes all those who have been taught by the power of god by the prophetic word and by the prayers the anointing just come down in front and we celebrate god with you for your victory hallelujah glory to god i will rejoice and be glad in it i will rejoice and be glad I lift up my voice to sing praise to the Lord. This is the day He has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad. Somebody rejoice in the Lord. I lift up my voice. I lift up my voice. This is the day. Somebody rejoice and be glad. Somebody rejoice and be glad. Rejoice and
taking place all over the places around the world right now. You keep checking your body. We sing this song seven more minutes. And I want you to check your system. Jump out so we can glorify God with you. And then you return perfected. Glory to God. We have quite a crowd in front here in all of the locations around the world. Please move towards the altar as soon as I see the hand of God upon your life. And then we celebrate God with you. Glory to God. Come on now, let's go on. Who's the path where you believe I'm redeemed of the Lord and as a covenant child what affects others is not permitted to affect me congratulations congratulations give the Lord a big hand and get seated for these amazing testimonies wave your two hands to heaven and celebrate the name of the Lord all across the nations of the earth healing testimonies everywhere deliverance testimonies everywhere Breakthrough testimonies everywhere. We celebrate God for that. Glory to God. Let's listen to a few of these testimonies here. Please, in all of the stations around the world, take your testimonies now. We have six minutes for it. Amen. Praise the Lord. As you hear your name, you just come in front. Adeloye Busola, 25 years excruciating pains, mental menstrual pains, healed right now as declarations were going forth. Maxwell Bassi, 
nine years numbness of the left leg and toes. All healed right now in the midst of those declarations. Mrs. O Mrs. Olo Oluwo Yeye Tosin, nine years glaucoma, healed right now to the glory of God. Come on, give the Lord praise, everybody. Afola B. Daniel, 13 years impotency, healed right now to the glory, glory of God. To God. Hallelujah. Bimbo Suremikun. Three years back ache, healed right now to the glory of God. Franca Okpako, 25 years partial deafness, healed right now to the glory of Come God. On, give the Lord praise, everybody. Ubade Meshach, 25 years myopa, that is difficulty with sight. Healed right now to the glory of God. Amen. Inkem Ogbome, six months moving object in the leg disappeared right now to the glory of God. Amen. For the big hand of praise, Jesus at work in our midst. Barrister Bill Chinedu Nwabeke, he could not lift his right hand for three years. But right now, to the glory of God, his hands are lifted and he's celebrating the King of Kings. Hallelujah! Now he can lift it, he can write with it. Isn't Jesus good? Shola Michael, for two months, has been having pains in the spinal cord, healed right now to the glory of God. Bright, Ola Mileko, one year short sightedness. Healed right now to the glory of God. Amen. Samuel Hannah, four years stomach pain, healed right now to the glory of God. Amen. Annie Ezekiel, six months pain in the heart, healed right now to the glory of God. Get excited, this is Jesus at war. Mrs. Jessica, six years stomach pain disappeared right now to the glory of God. Mrs. Ishola Dukwe, eight years abdominal pain disappeared right now to the glory of God. Amen. Chin whizzing, for three months she had pressure on the neck that produce the swelling of a saliva gland, but in a moment, all of that was healed right now to the glory of God. Where is he? Call the name again. Chin was it? Evelyn Joseph, two years blood vision, healed right now to the glory of God. Amen. Ogungweson Adebayo, two years neck pain healed right now to the glory of God. Two more. Adebinkwe Kuponu, four months waist and back pain healed right now to the glory of God. Amen. Mbachi Kingsley, 18 years stammering, healed right now wow. to the glory of God. Give the Lord praise. Where is he? Where is he? Come up. Mbachi Kingsley. 18 years of stammering, over right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Dorcas O. Orte, 11 years body itching. Healed right now to the glory of God. Shall we all rise to our feet? Well, this is a proof that your liberty is settled this year. As the Lord liveth, you won't live with sickness again in your life. Kenneth Egan testified that for 61 years he did not know how headache feels. 
for 61 years. How many years? There are many people today under the sound of my voice. The last sickness you saw is the last we ever know in your life. If Jesus studies the next 60 years of your life, you won't know the meaning of sickness. Somebody believe it, let me hear your loudest amen. Somebody receive it, let me hear your loudest amen. Every everlasting mountain staring you in the face. Posing to be superior to you. They are all cleared off your path today. <laughs> to everyone under the sound of my voice around the world, the host of Egypt you see today in terms of sicknesses, diseases, afflictions, oppressions, no matter by what name they come, you will see them no more again forever. The year 2017 releases you as an exclamation mark to your world. It shall be said concerning you, we have seen strange things today. The same way they said about Jesus, it shall be said of you, we have seen strange things today. They said about him, we have never seen it in this fashion. That is your new lifestyle. All your mockers will turn around this year saying, we have never seen it in this fashion. 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 This fashion. And so shall it be. Jesus healed me of tuberculosis in 1969. I'm still hale and hearty today. Whatever the Lord does shall be forever. Every healing that has taken place across the nations of the world today, as long as you remain tied to God, your healing is declared forever. Your deliverance is declared forever. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. So shall it be. Testimony is important. We don't have all the time. That's why we have read just this few. And across the nations of the earth, we're working at the same time. So we must have to close at the same time. Jesus is Lord. Be blessed. No small testimonies. Every testimony is an act of God. And every act of God is forever. Therefore, your testimonies are declared forever. In Jesus' precious name. Please begin to dance back to your seat. Choir sing now. Let's celebrate God as they dance back to their seat in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Give the Lord a big clap offering. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do hey, what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. Uh, what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can say. What no man can say, Jehovah. Only you can say. What no man can say, Jehovah. Only you can say. What no man can say, Jehovah. Only you can say. Only you can say, what no man can say, Jehovah. Only you can say, what no man can say, Jehovah. Only you are capable, only you are reliable. 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 I said, only you can do, Papa. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehov
him because he has set you on the path of honor in the year 2017 you shall not see horror he has set you on the path of dignity you shall not be a victim of pity come and celebrate him and magnify him there is no one like him thank you father in Jesus precious name we have given thanks give the Lord a big clap offering and get seated for this very vital closing segment Happy, happy new year to everyone here tonight. All through the year 2017, you'll be hearing congratulations. On every side, you'll be hearing congratulations. On every side, you'll be hearing congratulations. On every side, you will be hearing congratulations. In the name of Jesus. One of God's, one of the aspects of God's great agenda for the end time is the sonship platform. He will turn the heart of fathers to their children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest the curse on the earth continues. So whatever grace obtains in a father, is ordained to flow freely to the children. In the precious name of Jesus, the unction of, upon this commission, beginning from today, shall continue to flow freely into your life. One of the old preachers called it Ashe Ironon. Ashe Ironon. The anointing of rest, the authority of rest. In the name of Jesus, the year 2017 marks the end of all forms of struggles in your life. Everybody knows that this ministry lives off the struggle path. If there were struggles who we know, you are in the assembly. You've never been to church with any air of pressure on your life. In the same vein, there shall be no pressures traceable to your life again. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. Acts chapter 4 verse 13 when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, 
they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they have been with Jesus. By covenant, everyone is ordained to reflect the company that he belongs. Therefore, beginning from the first day of January, nobody will ask you where you belong. The effect will be there for all to see. Somebody believe that, let me hear your loudest, amen. The spirit of faith in Egan works in me invisibly. The covenant work of Kenneth Copeland is reflective in my life, not by trying to copy. You don't copy DNA. You share it. Praise God. The wisdom of enlargement at work in here, the boy works in my life. Everything that works in this commission, because you are here, because you are not just present, you are connected, shall begin to work in your life. The spirit of faith is resident here. And what it does to empower you to believe all things. To believe how many things? All things. You see, the things you don't obey, they are things you are yet to believe. Mm. You are in doubt of it. Mm. Why must I be in fellowship every day? I have many things to do. You don't believe in what they say it does. If you believe, nobody will need to beg you to do it. Now the spirit of faith in this commission, beginning from today, shall begin to manifest in your life. That sees a way where nobody else can begins to walk in your life. That means that from today, no enemy will take you for a ride again. Because by the shade of faith, which is the spirit of faith, you are able to quench all the fiery darts of the devil. The spirit of faith makes you fearless. Makes you what? Fearless. And it's through fear that the devil torments people. Therefore, from today, you are declared free from every torment and torture of the enemy. Yeah. Where the year is open in your favor. Yeah. I said the year is declared open in your favor. Yeah. The year 2017 is declared open in your favor. Yeah. Final instructions, please. Ensure my case is different sticker is on your cars and it's in your houses. And I tell you the truth in Christ, no devil can break through that barrier. Place it on the door to your houses, no robber will pass by it. I'm telling you the truth in Christ. Boldly declare the sticker of this church anywhere. Declare it anywhere, that shows your company. Nobody is in doubt as to where I belong. Everybody knows. Long before I began to truly reflect it, everybody knew. Everybody knew. As for us in the winner's family, God has vowed to make our case different. No matter how many things fall, it will be minus you. No matter how many businesses crash, it will be minus yours. No matter how many children go wayward, it will be minus your children. Every negative event of this season of uncertainties will never affect you. Give the Lord the big hand of praise. Amen. Secondly, covenant hour of prayer starts tomorrow. How you start has a lot to do with how you finish. Praise God. So endeavor to be part of it. It's a spiritual platform for continuous growth and development, apart from the blessings that accrue to you by pushing the kingdom of God through the prayer platform. Amen. Well, every day of this year shall be Christmas for you. 
whatever represents a burden today will become a testimony of blessing. Stand to your feet, everybody. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Now, all over the world, let's get back on our covenant exchange. My case is different because I'm redeemed of the Lord. What I'm mean, a covenant child, what affects others is not permitted to affect me. Congratulations. Congratulations. Can I have you say it one to another? Please look for someone there and say it to him or her. Did you see that on the screen? The color is my case is different. The response is, and so is mine, because I'm redeemed of the Lord, and as a covenant child, what affects others is not permitted to affect me. Congratulations. Did you get that right? Now let's go one more time. My case is different. Congratulations, 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 congratulations. Now the year 2017 is declared your year. Everything as you step out of this service begins to answer in your favor. The good news is everyone alive in a spiritual family today in the winner's family worldwide will be there January 1, 2018. As the Lord liveth, your testimony of my case is different, will be there for all to see this year. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. I am blessed to be sent to you. You are a blessing to me. You gave me and our team rest. You will never lack rest in your life. This is one of the most orderly churches in the world. You made it happen. Your life will never lack order. This is the one, of, one of the most restful ministries in the world. Your life remains restful from now till forever. Every altar of sacrifice is an altar of turnaround. For your sacrifice at Shiloh, I decree Psalm 126 as your song all through the year. My co-laborers in the vineyard, the cell ministers, the service group workers and leaders, all our pastors, all our elders, dickens and dicknesses, the same God that blesses and rewards me continues to reward you from today. For every worker in this church, in one capacity or another, this is declared your year of open reward. Is declared your year of open reward. This year again, we are set for another dimension of growth because the Church of Christ is ordained for continuous and unending growth. I will build my church, and this of shall not prevail against it. As the church advances, your life advances along with it. It shall be a regret free year for you. You'll be singing all the way. You'll be singing breakthrough songs all the way. You'll be singing breakthrough songs all the way. As the working week opens up, your testimonies of my case is different again. No accidents this year. No mishaps this year. No death 
in your family this year. No death of business and career this year. It shall be a year of laughter all through. That is the word of the Lord. Lift up those two hands, everybody. What a day of blessing. What a way to begin a great year. What a way to be in God's presence. What a wonder today. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Shall we together share the goodness of the Lord in fellowship, everybody? Sure. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall do in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Peace. My case is different. Because I'm redeemed of the Lord. And as a covenant child, what affects others is not permitted to affect me. Congratulations. Congratulations. Happy, happy, happy New Year one more time. What a year for you. Come and congratulate others around you right now as we begin to go to our various homes. Enjoy your New Year day. Enjoy your meals. Eat as much as you can. Prepare yourself for the fasting days ahead. Amen. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. The battle is over.